So what am I sorting at? 61. Okay, close enough. Uh, food. Hey, what's up, Red Crush? Thanks for your tier list videos for PewDiePie and HOH. They were very informative. I'm glad you liked them. It's funny because when I released the uh, when I released the first one, the Evolai one, I was very, I was extremely unsure if it was it was gonna be well received. Just per personally, I like tier list, but I I feel like they have kind of this uh, uh, bad rep. Like usually when you see a tier list, it's like, oh, this this pretentious guy is like giving his opinion because he thinks it's better than everyone else. But I'm glad people they did not really uh, see it in this light. But I tried to make my tier list very uh how to say I tried to make it like it, it's of course subjective because it's my opinion, but I try to like you know give uh give explanations of about of why I think like the things were strong or not, you know. So I'm glad that people like that. Well I, I mean, now now I can see that the tier lists were very popular because if I go on my YouTube channel, it's if I do in my, my analytics, it's my most popular videos and most liked videos as well. So. <laughs> I just we're gonna I just we're gonna be making a tier list for the next deep dungeon, you know. But that's gonna be in a while because because to to my eyes, I need I need to clear on every job to to be able to make a tier list. So when we make the tier list for the last deep dungeon, it's gonna be after a little bit after I get my Omni there. Uh, score the score of this one was pretty good if I remember, but it's been a while, so good rage. Also, the the, um, the warrior tutorial video I made got a lot of. Uh, well, it didn't get as many views yet, but like there, I've I've, I've had a lot of people tell me it helped them, so I'm very glad uh, that's the case. Nice respawn. Okay, there's a respawn real quick. Let me see if it's right there. It is. By the way, a small tip for Red Mage in there. If you if you're used to playing Red Mage in raids, like you the, the, you should know that this magnification gives you a damage buff. Well, that's you don't you don't have that in the PTD. This does not give you any any damage buff, which means pretty much like you should just use it whenever it's up. You, like you don't need to line this up with any kind of burst. I, I guess technically you could line it up with Embolden, but not, it's not really worth it in my opinion. Deal.
But I, I thought I was gonna do the raid tier on, on Red Mage and I gave it a go. I, I tried to do the first the first raid on the on Red Mage, but I was like I was like, man, this this just putting me to sleep. Like it's for as fun as I think it is in, in the deep dungeon, I think it's really boring outside of the dungeon. It just I just can't get into it. So I switched back to summoner instead. Oh, is it? I don't. I don't really care personally, but because I I only care about my number in relation to the the same people playing. Like I only care about my number in in relation to the people playing that job as well. But like I don't really care about my number in relation to the other jobs. So even if they're bad DPS, doesn't really. Uh, I don't really mind. I I just prefer playing casters. I would like playing melees. I would actually be a, a good melee enjoyer if you didn't have to do positionals. I just don't like positionals. Which is which is why I like I like melees a lot in deep dungeons. But like then I don't like them in raids. I think I think what I, what people told me is that the first three raids have like basically non-existent DPS checks and then the fourth one has like a very insane one but like at the, my, my, I don't have a very hardcore group so by the time I get to the fourth fight we should have like a lot of gear so it's not it should not it should not, it should not be an issue for me for us if I was on a very sweaty group then I would probably care more about my DPS but, you know since uh since I'm in a casual group, it's like, it's not really something I worry about. You know, like, doing raids is kind of like... I'm not gonna lie, doing raids is kind of like playing Astro for me. It's like... I don't truly enjoy it. But it's just something I, I I want to do, you know. It's like playing Astro. Like you know, I don't I don't enjoy Astro in Deep Dungeon, but it's like okay, well I, I have to do this. Kind of the same for raids. I'm like I'm like okay, I kind of want to like experience the content, but it's not very high in my it's not very high in my uh, my uh, my uh, my pleasure tier list, I guess. Which is kind of funny because it. I wish I found a hardcore group, but like a, a very weird one. I wish I found an hardcore group that goes really hard until they clear all the fights once, and then we stop raiding. You know, like I, the the whole reclearing thing is like what kills me for my for raids. I I like doing the fight once, but then like reclears, it's like oh my god, like I, I hate reclears because I I don't care about getting good gear just like like you, you're never gonna use good gear like good gear is pointless in this game because you're only gonna do, use good gear inside raids which you get good gear from you know so it's like this kind of a this circle wait there's another chest there it is well the, the thing that I guess it's kind of like it's kind of what you said. Like it's it's the fact that you have to rely on other people that I don't like because like what's usually gonna what's usually gonna happen is that you're gonna. Well, I mean, I'm gonna give you, for example, the first fight, right? Uh, if you know what the first fight is, you should know there's a mechanic in it that is like the wall, right? The the, the devourer. But like, what happens if you're not with if you're not with seven people who are the same skill level as you? You're not yet to that mechanic, and then everyone, uh, you know, at first everyone is prodding the mechanic. And then you're gonna get to the point where you're like, okay, I got this mechanic down, but but other people's don't. So now what's what what happens now is that you're like, you, you're gonna do a lot of pulls where you you don't like you don't learn or do anything because you're just you have the, the entire fight down up to this point. But like some people, they're still struggling with it, and then now you have to wait for them. 
you like uh, get used to it. But I think that's more of an issue if you if you're not in a hardcore group, like. So you know, I, to be fair, I, I should I should definitely try and go in a more hardcore group when I raid, but it's that's my fault there. Like it doesn't make me mad or anything. Like it's not. It doesn't make me mad to have to wait for others to get the mechanics down. It's just, it does feel like a waste of time sometimes. But uh, like I'm, I'm, I try to be very optimal in my time, right? So you should, uh, especially if you watch my streams, uh, you should realize this. Um, I'm gonna fortune. That's a lot of monster. I think that's with chain. I for that I have no ability there. Oh, I don't have the right potions. Yeah, personally, I would never leave a group. I would never leave a group for Prague. Like ever. Like I just, I just don't like leaving. Uh, the, the group would, the group would probably blow up before I left. What, what I would leave though, I would leave if a group. Had like bad, uh, bad attitude problems, or like something like people are always late, you know, stuff like that. If if that was the case, I would leave, but I would never leave because like people are slow on mechanics or stuff like that. Because I, it's not, it's not like I, I mind too much. What was the chest at the entrance? Oh, that was a serenity, right? It was streamer drama because someone left and all the beer was funneled to them. Hmm. I guess it depends why they left, right? Live. Lights. It's. I guess you don't really have a reason to leave. Like, if you're... I guess if there's streamer drama, it's because someone left a very good group. So, like, why would you leave a very good group? It's probably because there was some, like, bad attitude stuff going on. I don't know. It's hard to tell. You never get, like, the whole side of the stories. But, you know, in, in like, a hyper-competitive environment, I could see something happen, like... You, like, you're giving all the gear to someone. But, like... Maybe like the, the 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 vibe is really bad in the raid because I don't know like someone gets salty that the the, the gear is not getting funneled to them instead and then like the guy just decides to leave after a while. Um, I'd like to sight. Is that a good sight for? Don't think it is. Well, it's four, at least four. I can wait to slide this. Five, nice. Blurring, nice. So we got, we got value there.
Time's good, no pressure whatsoever. Red Mage is pretty good on this board. It feels like you can do almost everything with you know, just a few AoE pulls at most. Uh, no item, okay. To serenity this, I would need to see like a lot of insane chests. I wonder if I'm gonna clear Red Mage first try. I've only played, I've only done two, well, three runs of Red Mage. Thing. We have done like one that failed, my very first duty to run. My second one that that cleared was my Necro. Then I recleared this job once for a score. But I was a, a, a very long time ago. Oops, sorry. I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering if I'll uh, clear it first try. It is a, it is a tricky job to play like. Red Mage is definitely nowhere near the top job for PTD anymore. Like, like once you've played War and Machinist, it's like you, you cannot look at Red Mage and be like, oh that job is top tier. Like it's just just not the case. Even Summoner I think is better than Red Mage. Like the the, the fact that you have Squishy caster HP is just too hard. If you add Red Mage exactly like it is, but you add like like good HP, like not caster HP and defense, would be damn good. Would be probably top tier, but like the caster HP really holds it back. Like. So let me see if there's a respawn there. These debuffs, though. So I would like to fortune this. Okay, at least four rooms. Let me safety this. Strength and skill. Nice. I'm so happy. By the way, if, if anyone was not watching the stream yesterday, I I cleared Black Mage uh, Emerald High again, and it was my last. It was the last job I needed to get a vod for in Emerald High. So I'm I'm very happy with that. Then that means now, whenever I go back in Emerald High, it's like purely for fun. Like I I have no. Uh, I have no like mission in ML High. Like, if I go, it's just because I want to have fun and beat one of my old scores. I have no more VODs to get there. No more scores that I want to beat, I guess. I it'd be nice to beat the Zero in score, but it's, it's such a high score that I really don't want to grind for it. So it's just going to happen one day when I decide to do a Dark Knight run and I get very lucky, hopefully. Oh, thanks for the follow, Senor Dennis. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think Zarin got burned out on Deep Dungeons. I, I've not seen him like post about a run in, in a really long time. He must have... Uh, he probably got burned out after like doing... You no, know, because he spammed Evan High. 
then he then he went back into TD to spam QTD. Uh, and then I, he got, I think, a week of, of rest, and then I beat the score in QTD. And then he tried to go back in, but he failed the first run. And then that let me get the first rain for a, at least a day, and I think after that he was like, okay, well, I, there's no reason to rush anymore. And now he's taking it slow. Dude, it requires, like, this is totally not something I could do. Like, I, I could never, I could never do something like Zeren. Like, I could never play one job that many times and grind. I just don't have that kind of skill. Like that kind of, um, I, I don't know, like dedication? Like commitment, I guess? I, I just don't have that skill built in me. Like if I if I end up doing something too many times, I will 100% like burn out and do something else. It, it's like, I'm actually jealous of people who are able to do something like that. Like just grind something like nonstop until they get it. A very, I almost feel like underrated skill to have. Because that's how, like, if, if you're like a speedrunner or something like that, like, if you're someone who wants to get world records in any kind of thing, that's, the, that's what you need. Like, you need dedication and you need to, like, almost be immune to like burning out you know like just doing something over and over i, I that's not a skill i have and I, I i think that's also not a skill angelus really has like i feel like angelus is also kind of like that like he, he has to alternate jobs or if he already burns out Because I remember I tried to speedrun the link to the past for a little bit. It, it was fun, right? But like once you get to that point, it's fun at once because you're like, oh, you're constantly beating your own uh, your own time. But then at some point you get you hit that spot where you're like you're no longer beating your time uh, consistently. And, and like when you get to that part, that part where you're like you feel like you're making no progress is always where I give up. Like this is the part where I'm just not able to continue and I have to do something else. And, but if you're like a, a real speedrunner, right, and you want to push it to the limit, that's that's like I feel like that's the wall. Like that's the you need to be able to get past this kind of wall, and you need a, need you need a certain skill for that. Oh, thanks for the follow, Crush Needle. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Time is uh time is way too good, so no rush. Technically I should have probably fortuned this floor and uh killed a few more respawns, but it's too late now. Man, it's crazy my so my YouTube channel I've been putting a lot a lot more work into it. Uh, especially the thumbnails. And I'm getting, I don't know from where I'm getting all these subscribers, but I'm getting a lot of subscribers on YouTube now. And I, I don't know why. Like, I, I, well, I know, I know that doing the thumbnails help, but I don't know why it's making people subscribe like, like, you know, it's like a thousand percent increase rate. It's, it's very insane compared to before. Like, is that really because of the thumbnails or is it because like maybe the YouTube algorithm is, is just showing my videos people now? I have no clue. Oh, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, it's very fun because I've never, I have had my YouTube channel for a while, but it's never had like subscribers. It, it had like 20, I think, before. Do you think the thumbnail is really what like the cut is causing this? Maybe it is. I don't know. I, I feel like personally, personally, when I'm looking for a video, it, like maybe the thumbnail catches my eye and I just like, you know, like subconsciously I don't realize it, but I feel like I don't pay too much attention 
all I really care about when I see the thumbnail is I, I want to see like, I want to see words to, to like, that lets me know what I'm gonna watch. Well, which is kind of why my old thumbnails were just text, because I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to make it like the kind of thumbnail I would personally click on. But I guess it's better when there's a picture, a pretty picture in the back. Catches the eye more. Yeah, I made a Reddit post, but I don't did I don't think I linked my YouTube in that uh, yet Reddit post, right? Or did I link it in the comment? Maybe I did, and I don't remember. Wonder if uh, I wonder if Angelus is gonna make his own his own Reddit post when he clears his Omni Beauty. I think he should, I think he should make a reddit post as well. Because like... Like sure it feels like you're bragging. It, 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 well, I mean it is kind of bragging, right? But it's... It's mostly like a lot of... A good publicity, like it's... So, so when, when I did the post... I linked the Discord, the, the Angelus Discord in the, in the comments... Of the, the reddit. In that day, the Discord gained, I think, 300 members. And it was at 3,000 before. Like, from that post alone, which basically was my own achievement, and I just linked the Discord in the in the comments, it, the, the Discord increased by 10% people. Like, that's so freaking nuts, dude. I, it's such... It, it's such, like, good publicity, is just, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I think... I hope Angelus does a, a similar post. Who cares? Because that's gonna bring a lot of people over. Okay, not a bad set. Pretty decent. Average kill count, average mimic count. Uh, what's up, Crushing Eagle? Signal boosting does a lot. Is that what you call it in English? Signal boosting? I didn't know. Thank you for that. It, it's funny because when, when you're making the post, like, when I made my own post, I it never crossed my mind that the I wouldn't make people join the Discord. You know, like when, when I when I typed my comment, uh, it was just because I wanted people to know where to go. But I, it never crossed my mind that like that many people would join. If, in fact, if I knew people would like click the links, I would have probably linked my stream instead. But uh, it's like it just never crossed my mind. I, I didn't realize like how much uh, the signal boosting helps. I guess. It's kind of crazy, actually. We got uh, uh, Meiji and Aurora both got partner of doing like mostly deep dungeons. So that's, I think that's the third streamer that gets uh, that gets a uh, partner from just doing deep dungeons. Don't know if we're gonna get another one someday. Maybe. I, I'm not that close to partner on my stream because I. I don't, uh, I don't really grind the viewers that much. Like, be because to get partner, there's multiple, uh, there's multiple things you have to do. That you have uh, multiple requirements. But like, the, the big requirement to get partner on Twitch is you need 75 average viewer. And I, I feel like my stream is just not, just not built for that. Well, at least at the moment. Because to get like a, a constant average viewer count, it means like you kind of need to only stream the higher floors. So like for example, what I'm doing right now is kind of a, uh, it, it's like bad for getting partner, right? Because if I'm streaming the, the lower floors, I'm gonna get less viewers, which means I'm not gonna get the 75 average. But, but, but I don't care, right? So it's like whatever. And yeah, like I feel like, I feel like if you want partner, you have to actually grind for it, you know? And also I, I don't have a, um, I don't have a streaming schedule. I just kind of stream whenever I want. So like of people, they, they, people can't uh, can't like come in anticipation to the stream. So 
it means that for the beginning of the stream I, i'm gonna always have like very low viewer counts which means even if i finish usually i, I finish a PTD run with around uh 60 to 100 viewers i would say so it it looks like i'm beating the 75 average but it's not because like for the for 50 percent of the stream i'm gonna be at like 20 viewers or 30 viewers etc yeah, I did not even look at the time, but uh, luckily we were fine. Yeah, Reddit is a very good platform. I like just, I mean, personally, I use Reddit for uh, all the time now, as much as I used to hate it. Like whenever you start playing a new game, you know, or you, you join a new community, the first thing I always do is I'm gonna type like the name of the game Reddit because like, it's it's where I know I'm gonna find the most information. Purity, we don't need that. It's actually insane how much I use tab targeting in this game. Like the, the, the tab button to switch target. It's the kind of thing you don't realize until you like you start thinking about it. And I'm like, I'm really pressing tab all the time. Like for example, as soon as I, as soon as I walk into a room, I press tab because like I want to target something. And like right there, for example, I use tab again because like I'm doing a spell, but I want the other spell to be on the other guy, so I'm gonna press tab. Uh, what's up, Send Gear? So why did I burn Pomenders before I went to the next set? So this is a scroll run, right? That means I'm 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 trying to maximize the amount of points I'm gonna get. Uh, when you open a chest and you get a Pomander from a chest, it's a hundred points that you get. This means that before I finish a set, I'm going to be wasting all my flights because flights the way the flight works is flight is going to increase is going to decrease the amount of monsters on the next four by 50 percent which is very bad for score so i never want to use one uh so what i do before this i set the set is i'm gonna burn all the flights on the very last floor with the boss because then that flight has no impact which means on the next set i'm gonna be able to pick up three flights from chess and you know like i i don't have to use them it, which means i'm gonna gain 300 points Definitely only something you want to do if you care for score. If you don't care for a score, don't do that. <laughs> you have no reason to do that. And you also usually what I do what I do at the same time is I'm gonna burn one intuition and one serenity. Because these are not important pomenders this low. And if I find one in a chest in the no item floor, it's gonna let me pick it up. It's like very a very small optimization. I mean it's a very small optimization in general, like even if I, let's say I never burn palms, it's probably gonna cost me like maybe 2,000 points by the end of the run. That That is like seven kills. So it's very not that significant. But you know, it, it costs you nothing to do it. So might as well. Which chain? I'm gonna use that on the end zoo. How did, how did that bear not get it, really? Long walk back.
Is that the treasure room? No, it's not. Nice landmine. So the Senzu is a little... He's not that dangerous usually, but you have to keep in mind when he's at below 30. Uh, if he's below 30, he's gonna like do a win a dot on you and then he's gonna do the, the stun. Unless you kill it really fast like that. Just something to keep in mind if you are fighting multiple monsters. Hey, Mimic, nice. Hey, nice respawn. Right in my face. Real, really don't miss farming the respawns in PUTD. I did uh, I did two uh, two MML high runs for fun uh, lately. Well, I technically three with the Black Mage, but I did like a couple of MML high runs and I was like, damn. Feels so good when you get to 31 and it's like, it's like, wow, I don't need to care about respawns. I, I just, I just kill all the monsters on the floor and I go. That's it. Like, no, no, uh, no further like uh, farming required. Feels so good. I mean, why in PUTD you have to care about a response for 150 floors? Big difference. Uh, do I kill you before this? Oh, I think I don't. Oh well. Whatever. I need my burst killed before. Uh, what was that? A steal, right? Yeah, steal. There's a respawn. Let me see if I can... Yeah, there it is. We're gonna risk a trap. Yellow. So he's about to stun me now. If I don't kill him in time. After this, he would have stunned me. I don't need to use this. You want to see something messed up on red mage check this out so you, you know that zolt cast how it works so that whenever you cast a spell your next spell is an instant cast i think that's a fairly known uh, red mage mechanic but look what happened if i have my my proc right so let me show you with my ill so i have my zolt cast proc if i use a commander it, it removes it like for some reason when you use the commander it, it like considers it a cast i guess and removes your proc but it's not like like your commander is not gonna be instantly cast. Like it's just it just removes it for no gain whatsoever. Pretty weird.
think there's two respawns that I did not encounter. Well, there's one now and there's another one somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Not that good of a set so far, pretty little kill. I wonder, that's a very uh, random thought, I wonder if Red Mage would be more fun if your melee attacks, like your, your basic melee attacks did did the same kind of damage you do on a melee DPS, right? Would that be interesting? I feel like that'd be maybe a little interesting. I, I, I actually don't really know or I don't, I don't really care if it would like feel good in the raid. But it, be, it feels kind of good in that kind of like overworld content. Well, it's not, it's not really overworld content, but you know, like, like just the normal content. It'd be kind of interesting if I had to actually like worry about being in melee range to get the auto attack stuff. And you, you're, you're a, you have a damn sword after all. I feel like the sword should be doing at least decent damage with melee strikes. Okay, there's one respawn, there it is. He's, tra he's trying to run away from me. Nice miss. Still a low kill count, 50. Pretty much exactly 10 per 4, that's really not enough. If we, if we keep getting 10 per 4, it's gonna be 90 kills at the end. Damn, I think that's a 3 wound. Can't really side this. Uh. Well, now I can. That is indeed a three room.
Well, we're gonna have a lot of time at the end of this. Uh, gonna have a lot of time on the 70, 78th floor to farm respawn. Sure. Oh my god, that's another three room. That is cursed. I have a fortune for the last, uh, for the next floor. 3 1. Oh, 4. Oh, yeah, it's a little better. Red mage, red mage favor fever in the community. Who, who's playing red mage? I know Aurora was doing the no sus thing challenge because he's looking for reasons not to do scroll runs. But who else is playing red mage? I, I mean, Ben is playing red mage, but I do you saw so, this someone else playing red mage now as well? I uh, don't want to use this. Wow, I don't know. They, yeah, you can't really like consider like me playing something as like it, it being part of that. I just I switch job every time. There's like it's basically RNG. Well, I, I do need a VOD for Red Mage though. That's the reason I'm playing it now. Need a VOD for Red Mage, Machinist, and some other QTD. And that's it. I'm gonna cite this just to make my life better. But it's funny, like, I'm playing Red Mage on these lower floors, and I'm like, yeah, okay, like, it, sure, it's good. Well, it's better than, you know, other jobs, but it's like, you, you don't feel like the king anymore on this job. Even on the lower floors, I find that I, I, I have to drain potions, like, more than other jobs, even though I have a heal. Wow, the key's not open with all that? Really? Oh, that was only six. Uh, nice rage, also known as the useless rage. I, it's kind of silly that I I did all these complicated jobs on stream, <laughs> I, I, and yet I don't have a vod for red mage and machinist. Like, I don't have a vod for the two most popular jobs. It's it's so silly. It, it makes sense though when you think about it because. I, I did the popular jobs first, and so be, because I did them first, I was I was still not really streaming, right? So it makes sense when thinking about it, but it it is kind of silly. It's like it's like oh you can go you can go on my YouTube channel to to watch me clear on Astro and Black Mage, but I I like you you can't see me clear on Machinist and Red.
You know what we should do on this floor with a little bit of time we have? We should, uh, should, uh, we should do the screenshot that I'll use for the thumbnail if this clears. Just try and optimize my time. Ah, shit. Should have had one earlier. Maybe something like that. It's not that. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know, man. That weapon is kind of ugly as hell. Weapon is too ugly. I'll do that screenshot another time. It is, the weapon is literally just like a, a red stick. A red glowing stick. Hey, doesn't doesn't Angelus do that as well? I think he, he likes to take a screenshot at the end of his runs and he uses that thumbnail in his uh, videos after. Pretty garbage uh, set. <laughs> Four kills, not gonna lie. I don't think it's even gonna be a hundred. All right, let's kill one more. Treasure room on the ninth floor, so that means I can't, uh, I can't really fortune. Why oh, it's good for kills? Well, that, that floor kind of saved the the set from being garbage. Now it's just bad. But it's not garbage anymore. Wonder if I would either learn trap if I just randomly ran into the runes. Hey. I did. Okay, 
Maybe I can find a Luring Trap in this one as well. Just not. Rage. Uh, I'll probably go after this respawn. Because I kind of don't want to lose the bus if possible. I only have two. Oh, nice. The respawn is actually across this. That was a steal, maybe? What was it? Crazy. Okay. But well, actually, you know, maybe that wasn't that bad. It was a hundred set. It's gonna be a hundred eight kills. Pretty average, actually. That that, but that floor really saved the the set. Good thing that does no damage. What, what, I wonder what's next for Aurora now that he's done. He's finally done his no such thing, Red Mage. What what challenge can he do to uh, to avoid doing his pro run now? Dude, really? Ah, he's still doing his tutorial Astro run. <laughs> Damn, dude. That requires dedication. He would do anything to avoid scoring. Anything. He would even do a no fairy scholar challenge run. Uh, hold on, I don't want to burn a Serenity there, because I may actually need it. Oh yeah, this set is when the things can start getting a little scary. Though, uh, from experience, I would sound DPS, this set is usually not that bad, because you, you have time to mostly uh, single target everything. So, like, the bombs are not as big of an issue. As of thing. Nice. It's 
so much HP on this uh, the arms. Well, there's a, there's a there's a lot of challenge runs left for her. Right? I could do a I could do a no uh, no acceleration red mage challenge run. Um, yes, I I will use this because I don't think I'm going to find a learning. So. Oh, that hurts. Minimum air pull challenge, huh? That'd be hard to set up, though. Well, it wouldn't be hard to set up. Nah, but it would be uh, annoying to build it back up after the challenge, I guess. I wonder how high you could go from the minimum air pull challenge. I don't think you could clear. I don't think you could clear on the minimum air pull challenge, but it would... I think you could get fairly high. I would expect you would get to, like... Well, I don't, I don't know. 150 maybe? And then you would time out, would be my guess. No card Astro. That's, that sounds almost better. That sounds almost more fun because now you don't have to, you would not have to keep track of your cards. I, I think he meant like you, you restart your Aetherpool at 1 and you just try to do a run with that. Well, I think. You couldn't get out of the 30s, really? That surprised me. Wow. That, that's much earlier than I thought. Uh, there's a respawn. Just let me see if it is there. It's not. Nice, alterations. Uh, we will use one right away. Uh, oh, there's a chest. That's the strength I used. Maybe if you started at like 20, that, yeah, maybe that would be more reasonable then. Very small floor. Okay, just going to alter now. That, that that's a challenge I would actually kind of like to try. The issue is that I would not like the part where I need to get the the, the eater pull again after you know. And I'm pretty sure every single one of my characters has its Edo pull at 99, at 99, so. That another three room, really. Mm. 
Yeah, right, sure. I'm not sure that that rage is gonna really gonna gain me time, but why not? That was uh that was such a bad floor. Jesus. Five monsters and absolutely nothing from chess. Another steel. I think that's another three room. Wow, it's another three room. My god. We, we might actually get below 1.5 if uh, this keeps up. Okay, I totally screwed up my mana there. So, uh, there was a 70 somewhere, I don't remember where. I think that's the, it's this chest. I do have an alt on uh, on the Oceania servers, I think, that has no POTD for whatsoever. I could do, I, I could try that challenge on it. That'd be fun, maybe. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, you would have no pots as well. But it's honestly that challenge is probably better without pots because because if you if you have access to pots, I would assume they're gonna refill like I because the pots they don't scale with your HP right so like probably the pot would refill like fifty percent of your HP every take or something like that. Can I kill you before? Uh, I think yes. Dude, my my mana has been screwed up this entire like set. I've just been stuck on like maximum white mana. Uh, 60 boss on drum breaker, that's the wolf, right? Hmm. Hmm. I, my gut feeling. Uh, oh, the floor 60, you're right, that's the... C oh, yeah, yeah, that, you're right. Floor 60 on Drumbreaker is, I believe, 6 minutes if you strength. If you frailty, it's around 5.15. And if, if you frailty twice, it's below 5. I think. Come on, Lorcan, like, 
you can't say this is the worst boss. Like, like sure the bosses in MI suck, including this one. But like, let's be real. The freaking the Cerberus is way worse, and Fenrir, Fenrir is way worse. Like Fenrir, I've actually like gotten so close to dying to it so many times just because I, I'm falling asleep when I'm doing the boss. At least the one with the staff, you you have to move a little bit. No, bro, come on. I mean, I started doing Fenrir with no steel just so I could steal something again. That's how bad the boss is. And this, <laughs> this set is trash for kills. My god. Every room has two monsters. I think the worst one, in my opinion, is uh, 70, no contest. And then after that, I would say 80 is the worst. The second worst. Uh, and after that, it's like... After that, I would say 60. Yeah, I would say 60 is the, the third worst for me. Can I please attack you? Wait, do you really think Cerberus is better? Because Cerberus is by far the one I hate the most. Because my, my issue with Cerberus is that it's boring. But there, there's there's no way to make the fight more interesting. Like you, it's not like AD where AT is very boring. But it's like AT you can, uh, AT you can at least try not to steal, you know, to feel to make things a little spicier. But like on on uh, on Cerberus, you, there's nothing you can do. Like it's the the fight is always boring if you have steel or strength. Godfather best boss. I yeah, I don't disagree with you there. I think it's also my favorite deep dungeon boss. Okay, that floor was really good compared to the trash we got earlier. Well, 60 is about... If you're playing... Uh, hello, please. Line of sight. Okay. Dude, I cannot even cast a spell. Look. Okay. He, he was so stuck inside the wall, I could not even cast something. 60 is pretty... It's not... It's pretty long, but it's not that bad. If you're, if you're playing a DPS job, it's a below 3 minute thing. If you're playing a tank, it's usually like 5 minutes. Yeah, the 50 to 60 is a huge jump in difficulty and HP. Especially if you've done the bulk of your runs in and water. Because before it used to be way less uh way less of a difference. I'm gonna slide this. Regrets. Uh big regrets now. Ah, there's so much shit. Uh, so I saw Steel Strain Intuition. Hey, am I crazy, Lotion? Or is the... Um, if you compare the 70 and the 80 boss, 
Does the 80 boss have less HP than the 70 boss? Or is it is it like exactly the same HP? Because uh, there's some jobs that I, when I record their time, I do it. I do 80 faster than 70, but it's it might be because they don't have a shield for Cerberus. Okay, this gloom is bad. But, but I, we have so much time because the luck has been garbage that we should have time to do this. Also, it has more HP. Then I, and then for the job that I have recorded like faster kill times, it's, it was probably because of the shield, uh, the, the stun thing. Alteration, very nice. Do I take a risk and keep it? Um, I think I use it because I'm too scared of recapping, so... Do I overcap my F1 still? I think I use it also. That's two synergies. Seven percent. Okay, that's interesting to know. Though it's kind of hard to calculate that, right? Because I know that when you when you get stunned, uh, there's a big variance in the damage you lost, you lose, depending on if your GCD lines up with the stun or not. So basically, sometimes you lose one GCD, or, or sometimes you lose like two. No, sorry, you lose sometimes you lose two or sometimes you lose three. I think that's what it is. Okay, let's see if we can kill the respawn. Not like we're missing time. There it is. So this is altered at once. Should uh, expect get some chest. Now this I cannot use unless I find two. Nice. Okay, so the, this set has really sucked for kills. On the bright side, though, that means I'm gonna be able to do this entire set without using pumps. Uh, which means I'm gonna have every pumander for the next set, which tends to be really rough. So, so there's an upside, a small upside, but. 
Wait, do I kill the mimics before they... Hmm... I think I barely killed this one before. It's gonna be very close. Oh, he dead trapped first. Never mind. Now this one I don't kill it before, so let me kill the rest of the monsters first. I really found like four flights on this one. Three? Three or four. There's very often a wall trap on this wall, right there. There were none this time. What was that flight? Right. Okay, it should die with my uh, flesh and counter six. Come on. That sucks. I found two fortunes on this floor. Okay, last floor. I actually have everything except one altar, so... And one site. The last set is gonna be kind of interesting. That means I'm gonna be getting a lot of chest drops from it. So this is either, this is five or four rooms, no more, so it's another small floor. Hey, what's up, Zetsu? How do you get Necromancer if you're garbage tier? Well, you gotta... You gotta pull yourself out of the garbage tier first. I mean, really... Check out, uh... Check out my tier lists on YouTube. Uh... Check, check like, the... You know, check the jobs that are near the top. I would say, like, the, the top two tiers. Find a job that you kinda like inside the... One of the two tiers. A job that you like playing outside of the dungeons. Then just pick that job and start grinding out attempts, right? Like uh, everyone, uh, everyone starts garbage tier. But as as long as you pick a job that you enjoy playing, and then you kind of grind out that job specifically, and that that job is not you no know, like a very bad job inside of there, then you can uh, easily climb yourself out of there. That would be my advice. But don't worry, we we all start at the uh, at garbage tier. So you die on floor 13. I mean, there's not a lot that can kill you on floor 13, except, except if you, uh, like I would, I would assume if you die on floor 13, you probably die to a slime blowing up, or like you died stepping on a trap while you were, you were fighting something else. That's not really, that's not really stuff that has to do with your skill level. That's just mostly like getting used to deep dungeons in general and you know, the whole trap thing.
It's kind of like... It's kind of like if you start... If you do a new raid... It's like, it's like when you queue for a new raid and you die... You die to a mechanic because you're, you're not sure like... You're not sure if you were supposed to stand in the same color or the opposite color. And that happens all the time. Doesn't mean you're a bad player, it just means you're not used to... Uh, not used to that mechanic. Wait, which... Uh, I, when I say that, I had the fight in mind. Which one was it? Freaking, um... Oh, innervation before the boss. Really? That's really annoying. Well, now I need to lust. Okay. Interesting. I mean, that's good. I know what I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna steal. I'm just gonna wait for the claw to suck me in. Hey, thanks for the follow, dude. Thank you very much. Alright, so we blow up these guys, then we double dip the lust inside the bus. Wait, I had the fight in mind. Freaking, uh, forty. I can't remember which one it is. But you, but you know that's such a common thing in raids. Like when you when they release a new raid, and then there's there's a mechanic that like I don't know. Like there's a mechanic that makes you blue, and then on the ground it's it spawns blue and red squares, and then you're never sure like like okay, am I supposed am I supposed to stand on the blue square or, on the, or the red square? Like is it supposed to be the same color or the opposite color? That, that happens every goddamn raid here they release. Like, there's always a mechanic that you're not sure. Like, you understand the mechanic. You understand what you're supposed to do. But you, you don't know if you're supposed to do it like, you no, know, like the opposite color or the same color. Happens all the time. Now destroy that boss. I'm, I, I've become so unused to playing DPS jobs in QTD because I, because all the the jobs I had left at the end were like bad DPS jobs or like tanks and healers. So now whenever I play a DPS job, I'm like, I'm like, okay, damn, I'm killing these bosses like way faster than I thought. Like, I, I thought I thought when I started this fight that I might have to double loss, but it wasn't even close. Alright, let's burn all these fights. Okay, this set, I know, I remember this set is very challenging on DPS jobs, so we gotta be careful. Uh, this set was garbage, by the way, for the kill count. Not even 100. That sucks. But oh well. I think this can still get 1.5, I think. I just need not a bad light set for this one. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. It's been... It's been so long since I did this... Uh, since I did this set on a DPS job. I might raising. By the way, that that was the wrong problem I used there. <laughs> I wanted to use a raising, but I accidentally used a, a rezo, so I guess we're gonna roll with that.
And that sucks because I, I wanted to fortune as well. And I just like, it totally threw me off of the loop. I guess I'll use the rage and uh, waste it. The, the rage is kind of far, so. Nah, that sucks for the rezo. But what's, what pisses me off more, not even the rezo I wasted, is the fact that my fortune was delayed. I know, well, let's raise him for real now. Nice alteration. You missed my Lala. It was, she was cute. I agree, man. I love my Lala. I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna go back to my Lala at some point. I don't feel... Uh, the only character I feel kind of attached to is my Lala and my uh, my my Frogra. My, uh, my female Aura, which is green. All the other characters I have, I don't feel that attached to them. So I just kind of play them for fun. Then when I'm bored, I go back to my uh, my usual. Oh, the Lala is gonna come back. Don't worry. As much as it's funny to be in like such a big freaking race, I am so big, man. I I'm as big as the mummy. That's that's insane. I believe that's a respawn. Let's grab it. By the way, so the, the mistake I did there, so that that's a very easy mistake. So when you 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 mistake the thing on the right of the raising, uh, that's happened to me in Evanal High before. But do you know what's to the right of raising in Evanal High? Petrification. <laughs> so. What, you know when you zone into 81 and you're like, okay, I'm gonna use my safety raising, but like instead you use your pet tree, it's like, okay, we have to move. Also nice, I picked up my resolute. Mistake was erased. Another rezo. Okay. Fortune. Mm. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna come back for it. I'm gonna come back for it. Is that only three room? No, there's more. Four? I mean, four, four is not really good. Oh no, okay, it's 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 a uh, good size. Good size. Decent size. Fight's really good. Sure. Don't mind if I do. You bit rage when you were trying to lost on 180. I mean, I mean, I, I can understand. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like in the UI, to mistake that, but I, it made sense. Like why you did that mistake. Like you did that mistake because you. Like in your head, they were like, you were like, okay, time to use my transformation pomander, and then you, you instantly use the rage instead of the lust. But but yes, it is a it is a, it is a mistake. You're right, they look kind of similar, but it's in my head, it's like I don't really, I I honestly don't really notice like what they look like. I just know by like where they are in the UI by heart. Like, I can tell you like that affluence is there, but it's like at, at a, when I think about it real quick, I don't really know what it looks like. Okay, decent kill so far. Kill count. Not amazing, not bad. Just gonna keep using my affluence. Oh, sorry, hit my mic there.
<laughs> I, I found rage every floor. Perfect. He's right there, so we're gonna rage. I mean, I might side right, like maybe I can find a Lurin or something. And I'm sitting at three sides, and I'm getting low kills, so you know we have a lot of time to kill. Doesn't look like there is anything. I'm gonna fortune because I'm sitting at three. Let's rage. When you have an empty slot, you have to remember what it is. Nah, that's not... In my case, that's not uh, the case. Yeah, well, I, I know. I've used pointer so much at this point. I just... I know by heart what they are. Uh, so sometimes I have like, a small blank in memory, maybe, but it's never... like It doesn't last more than five seconds. Awful floor. I'm glad at fortune though because I found it back. I I think though I'm getting 1.5 guaranteed. I think because I I'm looking at the and I'm, I'm looking at the estimated score and I if I get a hundred kills I I make it. And I should get a hundred more kills. Bro, what is all that stuff? It's like... It's all good stuff. But not for points. It's like rage, lust. I did find an altar though. Uh, earlier. Oh, whatever. Next floor. This should be the last easy floor on DPS. After that, we're gonna need uh, to start using witch chains and stuff like that. I'll just waste this. Should have fortune. I'm gonna pop. Uh, I'm gonna pop a potion in case I hit a wall trap. Fight. That's very good. Uh, luring. Okay. I don't think that's a luring. Okay, I need to see what monster is spawn. Uh, pretty bad actually. <laughs> Gotta be careful of my health. If this is a Lorraine, I'm gonna Witch Chain. Okay, I'm gonna Witch Chain. Wasted sight, feels bad. Not our fault though. Respawn is in two, let me just see if it's there. If it's not in these three rooms, I will go. There. Okay, la after this floor, well, starting from now, we use alteration on each floor. So that means starting from now, we use all affluence and all fortunes because we want to try and find that fourth uh, alteration i'm gonna side this this is gloom oh but i have to backtrack all the way for that rage 
Um, I, I think that's... I think that's... Uh, okay, well. It's gonna... This is gonna suck for time. Because basically, I'm gonna go all the way to the T. And then I'm gonna go all the way back to get the rage. And then I will have to go back one more time. But I think it's, it's probably better that I do that than kill everything with a witch chain. Because like... I'm pretty sure if I have something like 20 monsters on me with a witch chain, that they would still kill me on you. Landmine? Is that alluring? I think that's alluring. Hurry up. Step on it. Kill the Rosalet first. Okay, two monsters, not bad. We now have to loot like 5,000 chests. This, this is the part that's gonna kill the time. Lust. Okay, you want to see the most pointless optimization I've ever seen? Look at that. We're gonna, we're gonna sleep this guy. So that we can then use it to backdash. Hey. Two serenities, that sucks. Alright, so now we blow all the alterations. Plus F ones. If we have mimics, we probably rage. We're gonna sight. Not a bit floor. I got mimics. Okay, I might not rage actually. Oh, I have a purity. Okay, perfect. So I don't need to care about bucks. So this is probably witching. Yes, this is at least witching. Oh my god, I might die. Oh. Close. Not even close. That's why I have a raising up. Can I use this? Now let me see if the response there. I have plenty of time. It's not there.
Well, I'll, I'll go. I'll kill them uh, after I loot this room. Actually, that was a purity. Interesting. I think I kill this room slowly. Wow, that hurts. I lost my steel. I'm going to refresh that right away. And now I'm going to do this uh, luring. Oh, need kill you before. Ah, if I had flesh or counter states, I would have killed him maybe before. Okay, well that floor was really good. Kinda, I'm kinda sad I did not fortune this now. So we're gonna purity again. Wait, hold on. Let me try I alter there. I think this is a site again. Small floor though. Still, we did. We need to fortune this. Okay, we have mimics. Oh, we have a. Uh, okay, whoa, 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 that's a. That's the big money there. We have another room of uh, 30 rooms of mimics, if you didn't see. Well, we're definitely running 1.5 for sure. Uh, time though is gonna start to stress me a little bit. How much time would I need on Red May for this boss? Probably four minutes. Bad guess. I I just want to find a site. If I find a site, we're fine on time. Uh, witching, witching. Because I'm, I'm worried about the fact that I'm missing one site. That means there's one floor that I'm going to have to do with no sites. Wait, respawn is too far, unfortunately. Come on, give me one side. That's all I'm asking for. Rage. I found so many rage. What I would like to do is Corrigan's on the floor, then I don't rage and I don't side this floor. But then I need to fortune this one no matter what, so. Okay, I think this is my safety floor. I think this is my safety floor. It looks like a straight line, so... that. But that means, of course, I'm gonna be missing some lurings. Or whatever.
So this is most certainly gonna be Witch Chain something. Probably Witch Chain just and just AoE down. Damn, that's a bait four. Okay, we're gonna Witch Chain there. Oh yeah, we have Cardians. We have Cardians, very good. Uh, we're actually gonna raise it for time. Right? Okay, we a mimic or two is fine, so I'm not mad if I didn't mimic or two. Heal rage of ones. Where is it? Lust. Okay, well this is a the, the the set this set was really good. This is gonna be very high score because of this set. The one before was garbage, but this one is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The only thing that could be better is if we found one more alteration. We did not unfortunately, but that's fine. And what's crazy is that I, I'm not even going to be down rages. I, I think I might be down one rage and that's it. Because I'm probably going to rage next four. Wait, last floor. No altar for this one, unfortunately. Gonna sight. Not that big. Len uh Lorraine? Yeah, Lorraine, okay. What's up Arson? How are you today? Um I do have steel, okay, so I just This is probably gonna be a witching. Uh, honestly this is probably gonna be a witching race though. I don't even need to rage I think. Okay, I will witching there. Wait, okay, we resolve there. Uh, that's a luring, nice. So, one final luring. Thank you. Thanks for the good luck. It's been pretty lucky so far. Uh, pretty good. Gonna be a pretty nice score. Not, not my best. Not, not even close to my best, but it's pretty good. Uh, let me wait 15 seconds. If the respawn is like right there, I'll kill it. Because I do have time. Okay, it's a, it's a dragon that's really far, so I'm not gonna go. So I'm assuming this is going to take around 4 minutes on Red Mage. I hope I'm right. We're going to do the 2 last 1 Rezo strat.
Okay, next time I potions up. Now. Dude, I did so much damage that I, I, I'm totally off scene there. I just hit so much damage. Feel fine. Oh man, we destroyed the boss. Jesus Christ. It's like three minutes, I think. Yeah, it's like not even three minutes, I think. <laughs> Damn, that was fast. Yeah, that's like 245. My god, much faster than I thought. I've been playing too many tanks, man. Been playing too many tanks, too many healers. Oh yeah, this is a really good score. About 1.515. Very nice. On my best, was very nice. Uh, I'm kind of surprised I got this so well. I, I I did get the treasure room uh, of mimics, but like, I'm still surprised it was that high because when I felt like everything above 51 was average, and then 81 to 90 was trash, and then 91 to 100 was really good. But like, it's I don't know. I thought it would be lower. Even with the treasure room. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break of a couple minutes, get something to drink and a snack. We're gonna come back, we're gonna keep going. Probably gonna stop around uh, somewhere below 150, I don't know. I'll see. And then, then I'm probably gonna finish this run tomorrow. So probably gonna stop, our, I don't know, maybe around 120, 130, maybe even 140, we'll see. Anyway. Be right back. Should not take long. Oop. We're on over late. Okay, be right back.
I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. Time for the best, the best bad sets where you can just die because you're not paying attention. So I'm still... I don't know if I'm gonna speedrun on Red Mage. It's. I think I might try to speedrun one of the sets, but it's... Uh, I'm gonna be open to the idea of like giving up the speedrun if, if I see that it's just not res uh, reasonable. Whoa, really? That hit you? I have three rage, wow. So rarely get this set with like more than two rage, and now I have three. Welcome back, Kimmy card. The 100 score was 100, 550 million. This number, if I, because I realized I, I struggled to pronounce these big numbers in English. But it was this. My god, we're doing so much damage. <laughs> Holy shit. This is, this is definitely not Ash Crew, huh? I don't know. Is, is Red Mage gonna be one of these kind of jobs that I do? And then I'm like, and then I'm like, oh, maybe it should be higher on my tier list? I don't know. It does feel good, like, so far, but I think once we make it, make it to the higher floors, where we start seeing, like, very rough monsters, then it's gonna fall apart. Boom. Well, something nice with with uh, Red Mage, though, I can just Vertier myself to save potions. As long as I, I have time to do it, I can do it. So, it's gonna make these sets really nice. Especially considering I, I zone into them with three Rage left. That means I'm gonna have a lot of extra time. Yeah, steel, it's like any caster, you're gonna rely on steel, but it's not like black mage level. The, I would say the upside of uh, red mage is obviously you have a heal. So so what, you, what usually happens on red mage, like the, the way you utilize that strength is not, is not you heal yourself non-stop when you're fighting things. It's if you are ever in a spot where you like, you like a steel and it, you only have like very hard options left, you can do it with virtue, right? That, like, that's the upside of red mage. That's what puts red mage uh, that's what makes Red Mage different from Black Mage and Summer, because both Summer and and, uh, Red, and Black Mage, they have no way to really do a monster that needs steel if they don't have a steel. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the next respawn and then go.
Nice. No item, okay. I'm probably not gonna remove that because most of my pawns are sitting at uh, zero and one, so. I would maybe certainty if I found a rage. Draw. I really want to find a fortune. I I need like kind of a fortune to kickstart my like because what yeah what happens when you find a fortune is that usually like you get a fortune from the fortune and it just kind of loop kind of keeps looping itself. I need a I need a fortune to get that uh, that engine going, especially on these floors because there's like they are very big and they have a lot of monsters. Purity, I'll keep that just in case. Well, it is a no item four, but you know. Oh, my strength dropped. That's what. That's why it feels slower enough. By the way, you want to use you want to use all your alterations on the set before, 
But then after that, you want to use all your alterations that you find on the set I'm on. Because this is the best place to use your alterations for points all the way up to until 191. So this is like your last chance to dump all of your alterations. Which is why I like on this set, what I like to do is I like to spend all of my fortunes in that point. So I can like make sure I find as many alterations as possible. Gonna have Verkir. That was a that was a big floor, man. Damn, massive floor. It's gonna be over twenty two kills. Still, still bad. It's fine. I don't. I don't want to synergy just for one steal. Now let's kill uh, the respawns, and there's probably quite a few respawns that I have to kill. There's one. I'm just gonna take a peek real quick in this room. Hey, thanks, Ludar. Yes, good luck. Good luck is appreciated. Bigger score would give me a bigger score, and I would beat my old red maze. Two response. I'm, I'm streaming kind of on a weird day today. I'm streaming on a, a Friday, but like a Friday uh, morning for Eastern. Usually I would be working, but I took uh, I, I took Friday, Monday, Tuesday off this. Uh, so, because I wanted to grind a little bit of QTD. Finally, we're out of this floor after 27 kills. <laughs> that was a lot of kills. It's the, the respawns on this set, like, they really add up because it's only a minute 30 for a respawn, but, like, the monsters are starting to get a little tanky, so, like, like by the time you've cleared the floor, you probably have, like, five respawns, and then by the time you've killed these five respawns, you probably have two more, and then after that, you probably have one more, you know, so it's kind of a uh, non-stop.
Oh, you're gonna strength this? Witching. Yeah, it'd be done doing any pull with a witching, actually. Oh, never mind, we have a rage. That was a that was a sad floor compared to the last one. Barely anything. Okay, we want to alteration. Let me waste that witch chain. I know I have another witch chain somewhere. Alright, come on, give me a fortune. So I can start racking up chest. This hurts so much. This freaking tank buster. It's like the mountain in all high, kinda. It's like a triple tank buster. No Pushers yet. Feels bad. Well, damn, I mean, on one end, this is really easy on, on Red Mage. They're like these four next sets. Well, as long as I don't speedrun them. But man, they're putting me to sleep. <laughs> Just, it's like, all you're doing is single targeting everything. At least on Astro, these were kind of fun because you were like doing AWP pulls the entire time. Hello, Squirrel.
still no fortune. This alteration used it right away. Yeah, there we go. Fortune, nice. So if I see a treasure room, I will use this and sell. Or like maybe a big floor with a lot of luring traps. Uh, by the way, if, if we have any hope of speedrunning the next set, we need to pick up sites. We need three sites. If we have not three sites, I'm not. I don't think I'm even gonna attempt it. Uh, what was that? Did I ever check this? No, I did not. Okay, just one more room to check. Nothing, okay. If we have bad debuffs, I will probably rage, but that's not bad enough. Though if I have Mimics, I would probably rage also. Let me see if I have Mimics. Before I fight too much. Man, the game is really trying its best not to show me if I have mimics. I do have mimics. Oh yeah, sure. I'm gonna rage this. I'm not gonna fortune though. Convenient respawn, right in my face.
Okay, with this, we should have time to chill. I, I, I think we should be fine with just like, a strength or two to uh, kill the entire set. Oh, we got the rage back anyway. Nice. Never punished. Use this again. Oh yeah, in a pretty good set. Like, we did not really find much fortunes and affluence, but we found three alterations already. And kill count is... Oh, it's not that high, actually. So it's going to be like a, a little below 100. Uh, pretty sure that was a serenity. Just going to check if there's a respawn. There we go. Oh wow, okay. That was a that was a fortune refill floor. So now we've done a fortune. Uh, probably probably the three next floors. Oh okay, yeah, we can just try and kill everything there. I don't think I would rage even with if I if I mix. Don Beetle, the most dangerous monster on this set, probably. I would say this this guy is even more dangerous than the, the Ornets. Just because it does so much damage when he does the Reno attack. Look at that. That's not a crit. <laughs> that almost looked like a treasure room. No, it's, it, was, it was just like a bunch of patrols at the same time. Oh, purity nice. So if we have mimics, we can just remove the thing. I've not been watching the Zepla stream uh, for a while. I've not seen her stream in a while. Is she st is she still going for P for uh, PTD Warrior? I wonder. I think she she has walled on 180 line. She lost a few runs 180. I don't know if she's still trying to get it. It was kind of uh, 
it was kind of what inspired me to do the the new updated beam at guide that i i made on my youtube it was like i i saw zeppelin doing 180 a couple of times and i was like i was like damn the this the strats for 180 are just like not the update anymore like it's way too it's way too complicated than what it needs to be Oh, she had to move, so she's been busy. She's not moving back to Ukraine, right? She's moving back somewhere else. Oh, she came to the US. Okay, that's good. Good for her. We don't need a second purity though. Let me just use this. So there's no way I kill this guy before the fox. Kind of close though. Kind of close. Man, speedrunning the next set on Red Mage is actually kind of hardcore. Whoa, that's edge. It's kind of hardcore. I don't know if I'm even... I'm not, I'm not sure if I should even attempt to. I'll probably do the first two floors in the speedrun way with a raising up. Then kind of a, a gauge how it goes. But I, I just don't see how I'm going to be able to do all the six last floors with uh, Witch Chain. Like, because on Red Mage, if I Witch Chain... I can probably not kill more than like 12 maybe like maybe 14 monsters i think if i go above 14 monsters with a witch chain it would they would kill me okay i, I know there's a pure team there i just want to see if i have mimics before i come it very nice I don't. So, wait, what? Wait, what? Did I? Why am I down at 2 purity? Okay, then I, I guess... I guess the second purity I found that I thought was a purity was actually not a purity in something else. And I just was not paying attention. Oh well. I'll still use it. Very nice. Use this again.
Pretty nice set. Uh, maybe maybe Tilt Town's a little low. Honestly, it's not even that low. It's like it's gonna be something I want 80 at the end. Yeah, it's pretty good. But uh, alteration count is real good. I think that's the fifth one we use, or four. When he eight kills on this uh, floor alone, very high. Oh man, I forgot I had some coffee for like the past hour. Let's troll this shit now. God damn it. By the way, this annoying Reno attack thing, you can LOS it, by the way. If you hide behind a wall, it's, it's not gonna complete the cast. It's pretty useful to know. Do I kill you in time? Maybe. Uh, I think I'm missing a swift cast. I'm missing like my charge. If I had my charges, I would have killed you. So close. Barely. Oh well, I had mimics to dear to take care of anyway. I'm gonna live with this spot this time. I don't wanna go down to one. Another chest. Mimic. Wow, that's a lot of mimics. Very nice. Free rage as well. Nice. Let's just make sure I'm full L. <laughs> Always. That is the most dangerous thing, by the way. If you play, uh, if you do rage, most dangerous thing that can happen to you is exactly what happened there. You step on a landmine right before you're about to hit the monster. And yeah, that's uh, that's the worst thing that can happen. So you always gotta keep that in mind. It's especially troublesome if you're fighting a proximity monster. 
Because then there's no way you can sneak up past to him. Uh, like, sneak up to him. That means you have to walk up to him. And if you hit a landmine on the way, well, uh, you better be prepared to do something fast. Because, uh, especially once you get to the higher floors. Not sure if there's actually any response. I feel like I kill everything really fast. I'll check real quick. Um, no respawn, then well, let's wait for one more then. Let's go. Ah, uh, that is a steal. Okay, technically, I could have one's next floor to try and find one last alteration, but I'm, I don't feel too strongly about it, honestly. I think I'll just fortune and, uh, what I get. So this bus on the uh, white, uh, sorry, on red mage, probably three minutes with strength, I would guess. Let me check. Yeah, about three minutes with strength, so really fast. That that bus with Astro and if you use like a strength is like is like six or seven. Hey, finished him with another with that. But I'm finally putting that sword to use. Okay, I don't need to be there. This is the end. He hits it. 
I'll come back for the bronze, of course. Not sure why I'm not, uh... I did not even think about that, but I could be putting my own music. Like, this is, uh... It's been so, such a long time since I streamed, like, the... These kind of sets on a job that doesn't require, like, 10... 100% brain power that I could just put my own music. Let's do that. Ah, oh, sorry, I was trying, I'm trying to find a little playlist. Oh, nice, we have alteration with the last four. Alright, well, let's put the radio, actually. This thing. Yeah. What's up, Oli? Yeah, I'm enjoying my, I'm enjoying my climb. I've never, I've not played Red Mage in like, so. Oh my god! Wait, that's really loud. Wait, that's too loud. Um. Wait, that's better. Yeah, I've not played Red Mage in like a really long time in there, so it's been, it's been fun climbing on Red Mage again. So I have, what, 7 minutes to do the last floor? Should be plenty, with the Johnson Ram using a strain at 8 minutes. And if it's not enough time, I would just go uh, witching or something, I don't know. I, I I would say I'm like, I'm gonna try to speed on the next set, but it's, it's unlikely to happen. Mimics, okay. 
That's fine. Nice. <laughs> we have even another alteration. We, we can't use it on this set, but it means it's still good. I know, right? I'm like, I'm also like, why doesn't it give you points? Like, you have to go so much out of your way to get these things, and they don't even give you points. That's always seemed a little weird to me. Like if, if he did that trap first, I could have killed him before, but he did not. strength now so this boss is about three minutes if i don't lose if i lose it's probably like 230 i guess something like that i do believe i will need two parts uh, two pure timing i think if i don't then it's gonna be too close So as, mu as much as I don't want to, I might have to do a couple of wee pulls, so we're gonna waste potions. I'm trying to plague him. Okay, he was too small. That is actually a pretty good kill count. Considering I, I got no learning traps. Like, when you put that in perspective, it's actually pretty high. Because you, usually I would have a, at least a few. Uh, but I, I did not pick up, like, sites at all. So I have no learning traps stepped on. And it's still gonna be 180 kills. So, uh, you know, pretty damn good, actually. Pretty damn good set. Now that I look at the stats again, it's like, wow. That's a really good set. I was a little harsh on it earlier. I guess the chest count is low, but that's it. That's the only thing.
No, it's about time we go. So we're gonna be 181 kills. Very nice. How many pot shirts? Two pot shirts, not bad. Well, I mean, pretty bad actually. <laughs> that's not the. That's not cigar code. Cigar coded. Well, it's better than zero. Let's get a combo off before the bone drops. I guess I try to speedrun the next set, but I, I'm gonna find out real quick if it's possible or not. I would say it's. I would say I'm 95% sure this is not possible. Well, or, I mean, everything's possible, but it's not realistic, I should say. Uh, before that, let me uh, check the market board real quick. Oh, and I just want to see if my I need to adjust the price of the stuff I put this morning. No, I don't think anything sold. Not yet. Does anyone undercut me though? Man, cowards. They they all put the price at 4 million, and as soon as I put it at 2.5, they just all followed me. Then your ground. That's fine. I bought uh This morning I bought the mats to do 14 expert crafts. And I managed to do 12. 
So I, I could sell these at like, I could sell these at 800k and I would still be making a good profit. So not too stressed about it. I would, I would go down to 1.5 if it came to it. Okay. Uh, let's restart. Re let's resume. Alright, let's get copyright claimed with Dungeon Runpa. Okay, well, let's see if a uh, speedrun is possible. Doubt, I doubt it is, but never know. So we'll just let me double check this boss would probably take uh three three thirty with a strength and a loss I would say let's see if I'm right uh, okay it's it says it should be a little faster but I'm gonna aim I think for like three three thirty three fifteen. I'm gonna raising this. And let's see if we can speedrun. Toad is already a bad start. Because I cannot speedrun with this guy. I mean, Razor good start though. Depends where the key is though. Okay, that's good. Well, that's decent. My god, that's loud. Sorry about that. Okay, let's rage now. We, we, we will have to backtrack for this rage. Which makes me think, actually, I'm gonna clean out this room. Then go get the rage. Yeah. Alright, then I'll just finish the monsters uh, by hand. Okay, so first floor is pretty good. First floor was pretty good. Wait, it was a it was a free rage on the smallest possible layout. Also, wow, that sucks. I maybe kill you before. Big maybe though. No, I don't. I would need like one. I, I need flesh, basically. Oh my god, I step on a trap. Really? I could have died there. That was like a landmine, maybe? Anyway. Wait, no chest in this room means this is at least five room. Which doesn't tell me much, actually, but... I, I, I kinda need to deal this pudding before everything else.
That's a good monster though. Bunch of leeches. Okay, Toad needs to die. Needs to die first, I'll kill it. It's dead. I mean, if I keep getting like kind of small floors like that, we can speed run. This will, but that that is a very risky spot there. I need to kill the pudding, that's the most dangerous monster. Oh yeah. Okay, not that bad on time for this floor. I think we did alright. Speedrun speed is still possible. I'm not... Sh I'm more like... It's more like, you know, 80-20, I'd say now. I'm like 20% sure I'll do, I'll do it and 80% sure I won't. It was like 95 earlier, so... The issue is when we start getting the slimes, now is, is when the, it, it'll start being a problem. But we are on pace. We are on pace. I'm gonna fortune this. Also, I, I want to delay my sights and safeties for as long as possible. Okay, that's a bit cool. So the dream there is we pull as many things as possible, and I think this is a witch chain. And I really want to kill the puddings before, actually. Because these guys, are, they just hurt way too much. I need to kill the toad. There's, there's just so many things I need to kill alone. That's really what kills this time. Slime needs to die as well. Uh, though I can probably kill the slime in the knee we pull there. Let me do that. Wait, that's from Dengen Run, but really? What the fuck is that? Oh, that's one of the endings. Okay, there's a chest. Okay, we, we are lucky on the key placement on this floor. That helps. Security is good. Wrong, wrong button. I mean, we're moving on the... I'm kind of surprised how good we're moving there. We're moving much faster than I thought we would. And these are not small floors I'm getting either. Uh, I'm gonna witch in this to save time.
Oh, I need to refresh my steel strength. That's right. There. Bro, I'm getting destroyed. What the? Oh, it's because I don't have a regen potion. Hold on. It's because I use my... Oh, I use Echo Drop, of course. That's why. Yeah, because Echo Drop, they share cooldown with your regen potion, so... Uh, there's a chest? Where? Okay, there. No, come on. That's just rude. I'm lucky I never stepped there while I was fighting. Okay. We're still like... We're still not a, not too deep in, inside this. Like, we can we can abandon the speedrun still with no loss. But I, we're still gonna keep going because I, I... It's looking like it's possible. Oh no, you got disconnected, Kuti. I'm really sorry to hear that. Getting DC'd like sucks so much. I I'm so lucky my internet never DC's me. So lucky. I would never have gotten Omni otherwise. Oh yeah, two way, I'll go left first. This will be a lot of damage, I gotta be careful. Dude, that is a lot of damage, <laughs> indeed. Jeez, I can barely keep myself alive. Oh yeah. Whew. We're on a... we're behind now. Yeah, 101 to 150 is like... really bad for traps. Uh, okay, I'm very thankful that he's not in this room. If the key was there, we would have had backtrack twice. That helps. You would have double thanked double thing this pull on tank. On tank? No, on tank this would have been very easy, right? Like on tank, I could pretty pretty much pull like ten monsters, maybe. It depends on the tank. It depends if you mean warrior or like real tanks. On warrior, I would not even second guess. I would pull probably ten monsters. Oh yeah, I fucked my mana again. I gotta fall, I, you gotta be careful on like jobs like red, ma red mage to not fall in the EOE trap. It's it's when you taint your saving time by doing EOE, but like you're what, what ends up happening is you're running around so much and like you know keep healing yourself so much that you're not saving time at all. You know, like for example, like I could fight these three monsters with AoE, but I, I feel like it's actually faster if I just kill them one by one. Oh yeah, now we are a little bit behind, but I, I'm I still have three rage, so I'm not sweating too much. I think we're gonna I think we're coming into the speed run now. 
I don't think I'm gonna give up this Pigeon anymore, so... That means now, from this point on, I'm willing to start using my pumps, like, really aggressively. It's not that the Red Mage AoE is weak. It's that you're really squishy, so it's hard to use your AoE without getting slammed, like, slapped by stuff at the same time. Also, I could... I could use a safety or a sight so much. Like, we kind of need safeties and sight, honestly. That's the only issue we have right now. Let me get this before. So if we were on a good phase, we would be out now, on the on like right now. Uh, but we have three rage, so there's three floors that we're gonna do very fast. But we need like a sight, really. Like it's the only thing that's that kind of sucks is we are missing a sight. My, you guys don't pro probably don't re don't uh, see it on stream well, but I'm I'm doing mad like target switching whenever I'm fighting because I'm like I'm doing my combo on one thing, but then I, I want to like optimize my damage. So what happens is when a monster is low, I like make sure I only use my weak abilities on it. Just trying to maximize my damage as much as possible. Tight, perfect. Okay, we should have the speed run with this. And I'm very glad I speed ran because this was very low kill count. We are only gonna be at 70 and I skipped no monsters. So very low kill count. But basically when the kill count is slow, when you get unlucky and you have like small rooms, it's a better speed run because it's gonna cost you less and then you, you get the, the bonus, you know, without having to skip monsters. Okay, well, that side is rude. Alright, when you go now. Um, so we safety next. Well, we side three times and we safety once, basically. And then I have to decide which floor I safety. I would rather safety this one, honestly. Okay, this is gonna be our safety for. Is it moving? I'm thinking witching loss for this floor. We okay, have to kite them for as long as possible, then I will witch in the end. Good enough. Deal. Ha 
<laughs> Wish I used fortune. Rip. Okay, so we have sight for the last three. That means they're pretty much free. As long as we don't do like bad pathing or something like that. Okay, that's that's a good rage floor. Could be fairly easy. Strength. Rage is like, you still have to give a little thought about what, how you want to rage. But it's usually not too bad, as long as you have a plan. So I'm gonna rage over there. Landmine. I could do a luring. Okay, there's a luring. Perfect. So we kill all this. Nice butt shirt. Okay, now we loot, and we have to do fasts, and we kind of have to pray we don't get mimics, honestly. Like, mimics are usually good for points, but now they would be bad. Affluent strength. I have so many affluence. That's good for the next set. Wait, we side again and we're probably gonna raid unless this is a very small floor. It is a pretty small floor. We can maybe get away with a witch chain lost again. Hard to tell. Wait, hurry up. Let's hurry up. this uh raising sure almost mistake rezo there blurring okay this might be a rage anyway i think this is gonna be a rage but i need to witch in now Oh, I don't know actually. I think I think it's better if I lost. I feel like I feel like if I rage, I might not have time to kill enough monsters. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a spicy pull. I can already tell. No, okay, never mind. This is not spicy at all. I'm being a I'm being a drama queen. Wow, side bike. Nice.
Oh, you're pretty good. So we're probably gonna raise the last one. Oh, wait, there's a chest. There it is. Hmm, that's bad, but I think I kill you before the parts. Just one cast, one cast, one cast, come on. Ooh, barely. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't, I, there's a risk I over cap my F ones, but I don't want to, I want to, ch I want to have the least amount of chest possible on this floor, because I don't want to waste time. Can okay, we remove this side? Oh, that's a big floor, man. Okay. Fortune. I have no weight chains, man. The no weight chain really sucks for this. Oh, yes. I have a witch chain. <laughs> Saved. Okay, perfect. W without a witch chain, this would be kind of an annoying floor. With a witch chain, this should be fine. Maybe I'm even gonna be able to save the rage. That'd be kind of nice. We'll see. Okay, these are gonna sleep me, but usually it's not an issue if you're doing a multiple because you get woken up by something right away. Okay, which in there? I think. No, I can. I think. I think I can pull one more room, right? Which in there? We gotta re up though. Nice. What is this? What is this? Wood chain. Steel. Nice. Okay, we should be fine, I think. Uh, I will lose the bees. When he spawns the bees, I will lose. Very good speed run. I'm proud of myself there. I was re that was very clean, and we use only one rage, I think. So, well, two rage, we got a free one. I forgot how good loss is on Red Mage, honestly. It's like, it's so good to do it with pulls. Because you have so much time to be kiting the monsters during the loss, but you're eating a lot less damage than you would on other jobs. Okay, I'm gonna loss soon. Now. So yeah, that's a trait you can do. If you're if you intend on lasting this boss, wait until the bees are there and then last. So this way you can also kill the bees with it. bad i stayed inside of this oops that, don't, that only does poison to you but it's a pretty strong poison
All right, nice. I have really good F points uh, also, and fortunes. Let's try to make the next set like pretty, pretty juicy. Uh, so then I I'll need to decide if I speedrun 131 as well. Te technically, 131 is easier to speedrun than the one I just did, so I should probably attempt it as also. Alright, let's just keep going. So this one, um, this one I'm doing slowly. No reason to rush, because we're not going to speedrun this, impossible. Oh, I found the, I found the raisin again. That's really nice also. By the way, you guys tell me if the music's too loud. I, I, like, I, I'm pretty, pretty good at uh, figuring out if the music is too loud when it's, it's the in-game music. But when, whenever I put a playlist, I'm like, hey, I don't know if it's too loud compared to my voice and the game sounds. Okay, we have a free purity. That's good. That's building up. Uh, this save is building up to uh, something very nice. This this is uh, that this is definitely gonna be higher than my last score if I care. I can already tell. Yeah, this feels like a 3.3 so far. Like a low 3.3. Very nice. Oh, hello. Rage is back, nice. We're back at three rage already. So something interesting about the set I'm on right now, I've noticed something interesting on this set. It seems like the the luring trap rate is extremely high on this set, like very very high. I I don't know why, but it's like I will whenever I see a bait floor on this set and I use a, a side, I, I see like three lurings all the time. Very very weird. So what I'm probably gonna do is um, I'm try I'm gonna try use my sights there, but then I also need my sights on the on the next set to speed run. So it's uh, I I gotta balance it too, basically. Ah, I used the wrong consumable. Fuck. I <laughs> I wanted to use the one that removes paralysis, but I used the needle instead. By the way, this this needle is the biggest scam you've ever seen. So this this is re this removes uh, petrification. You guys can't read it because it's below my face, or by uh, my uh, anime girl face. But this this removes petrification. But the thing is, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't. It only works in there basically. Like every time I do an old raid or an old dungeon that puts petrification on someone, 
and I try to save them with the needle, it doesn't work because it's like it's like a different kind of petrification that doesn't cannot get cannot be removed, you know. And I just feel scammed every time. Like for example, if you do um, if you've done the void uh, the void arc, the first raid of uh, the Evans Ward uh, Alliance raid. At the end, the last boss, he does a gaze, and if you look at the gaze, you get petrified. People get hit by that all the time. And I, I try to re remove the petrify with the gold needle, and it doesn't work, because it's like... It's like, you know, it's like a, a, a raid petrify, I guess. Uh, very nice. We just gonna uh, use that. Yeah, it's weird that there's nothing to remove pacification. You're right about that. Very weird. Like, we even have something that removes blind. Like, it's kind of funny you have something that removes blind, but you don't even have something that removes, like, the, the trap effect. Now, now that I think about it, it wouldn't be a bad idea if we could remove innervation also. You know? Because it's kind of a... Because the drawback of using these is that you, you get your regen put on the, a minute cooldown. Uh, that was a purity. I know there's a respawn. Let me just see if I can find it real quick. There it is. Kinda, I'm, I'm vibing so much with Red Mage. This, there's a reason my first hair was on Red Mage. Because when I got my first hair, it was two years ago. Uh, it was already past the prime of Red Mage. Like, when I got my first hair, we... It, it was already, like, uh... It, it was already, uh... What the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh... General knowledge that Machinist was better than Red Mage, but it's, uh, it's like... I just I just vibed it with this with this job so much in there. It's so fun to me. Which is funny because when I raid with it, I hate it. As as I experienced yesterday. Oh, that's the best song in the game. I know about it again. Probably probably rage this, honestly. That's wandering. You know, that's why I'm saying this set is weird. Like, it has luring the entire... Usually you don't find lurings on the early set, early floor. But like, look, I already have a luring on 122 there. I have two lurings on 122. Look, there's another one there. This is this set, this set is very weird for the luring. And I would not even be surprised if there's a third luring. Uh, in, the, in the other room. Well, don't get me wrong, right, Larson? Like, I don't think Red Mage is that good anymore. But it's like just the play style, personally, I, I, I enjoy it. But I, if, you, if you're talking about its power level, I don't think it's that good anymore. In fact, when I did my tier list, I think I put Red Mage in the third tier I think oh I got the rage back nice it, it was it really is not that strong which is kind of funny because whenever you watch a big streamer like Zeppla or something like that uh, or like Asmongrel or whatever like whenever the whenever the discussion of PUTD comes up like 95% of the chat is gonna be like red mage red mage red mage is the best <laughs> it's like it's like people are stuck in the in the in the time bubble you know of like Three years ago. 
They, like they, they, they were just stuck in that in a time loop. In fact, in fact, I um, I post uh, I, I post on some uh, some uh, anonymous forums, and uh, I've said multiple times that Warrior is really good, and I, I get shit talk for saying that sometimes. Like people are just stuck in the Red Mage King era. It's uh, Red Mage is such an easy job to like to think you're doing like you feel like you're doing good but you're not doing good because like you're fighting a hard monster and you're in the light you know you're like uh, sorry you're like you're using Verker still alive and then you finally kill a monster and you're like wow Red Mage is amazing but then like like in the end you you wasted like a ton of time killing one monster cost you a lot of Verkers. And then during that entire time, since you were like focusing on the virtues, you were not doing anything else. Yeah, D Dark Knight War is amazing, but like Dark Knight is also very good. Like, it's uh, like the only difference between Dark Knight and Warrior is that personally, I think Dark Knight is more fun. But second difference is that you don't have run pushing and that's it. Like that's still literally the only difference. Everything else is the same when you compare the two. And in fact, in fact, Dark Knight is a little better if you don't it like if you. If you took a side run tuition, Dark Knight is a little better than Warrior. Yeah, yeah, of course. Don't swap if you got the 199 last time. That we that'd be dumb. We're just gonna keep using Fortune since we uh, keep finding them. I had a blast with Dark Knight, man. Dark Knight in both Evan High and PTD was like, was so fun. It's, oh, sorry, my mic moved there. It, it's like, it's it's top tier, but it's also really fun the way you play it. But I I still think Paladin's my favorite. Like, I would say in Evan High, my my favorite job is probably Paladin, and Summoner is a close second. But, but Summoner is like... S Summoner is like... it's I like Summoner, but because it's OP. Like, I, I, the kit itself, I think, is, is great on Summoner, but it's not the reason I love the job. It's just because it's, it's like ridiculous how strong you are. Paladin is the opposite. Paladin, I just love the kit. Like, it's, it's so good. I did another Evan on High run recently on Paladin, and I, I was like... I, I was like, damn, this is like... This is really good, like... Like I was looking at materialists of Evan High and I was like, I don't think Paladin deserves to be where I put it anymore. But it got buffed since last time I, I did this, so. But like the big thing that improved with Paladin is basically basically nothing you do breaks or combo in any way. So like you can you can you know start one, two, then you can do Holy Spirit twice, then you can finish your three. Then you can do one, then you can Clemency, then you can do Holy Spirit twice, then you can like continue your combo, like nothing interrupts the flow anymore. Which means you are like the most flexible tank, like you can, at, at any point you can be like, okay, I, I want to try the monster for 5 seconds, okay, so you just do Holy Spirit for 5 seconds. And then you go back in, you start resume your melee combo where you left it, or like, you need to heal for some reason, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna heal myself once, and then you, like after that you just keep going. By where you left it, so very flexible. Which is which is the reason why the reason people struggle with Paladin is because they don't realize it's flexible. Because if you're coming from a raiding background, Paladin is not flexible at all. Because Paladin is it has a very strict rotation that you need to like. Basically, everything needs to like be lined up perfectly all the time. And if you try to apply that logic to Deep Dungeon, it, do it doesn't work. Like, if you try to play Paladin like that, it, it doesn't flow well. Like, as soon as you embrace the flexibility of Paladin, like, when you don't care about optimal DPS, is when, is when it really shines in Deep Dungeon. In fact, I would even say, in my opinion, I think it's better than Groundbreaker right now. Assuming you play Groundbreaker and Paladin perfectly, 
I think Paladin is better than Breaker in MLI right now. Because your damage is very close. But you know, it's like... Um, there's a, there's a lot of things you do in raid that you don't do in deep dungeon. I'm gonna give you an example. I, for example, when I was watching Espon Roll, every time he would walk up to a monster, he would pull like that, which made sense. This is this makes the most sense if you're trying to have the optimal DPS, but it's just not how you play inside deep dungeons, right? Like because you need to care about the clock. But if you're wasting five seconds on every monster to get. Uh, I don't know what is it like a ten percent and five percent increase of damage. Like you're you're still losing time overall. There's lo lots of small things like that. Another good example is provoke for the tanks. So of course in raids you don't want to open with provoke because it's bad for DPS because you're not rolling your GCD. But in deep dungeon it's the opposite. Like in deep dungeon it's often a good idea to open with provoke because it's the longest range you have and it's a GCD. It's not a GCD, it's your only ability that pulls from a range. Yeah, same. It's always on cooldown. It's so good. It's so good, which is funny because it, it does nothing except just... It just pulls the monster, basically. And it, there's a lot of small things like that. Like, for example, I'm going to give you an example on Warrior, which uh, when I made my Warrior Guide, well, tutorial slash guide, I, I mentioned it a couple of times, but a good example of, like, trying too much to, to have optimal DPS is when your Berserk is up and you're like, okay, let me let me delay my Berserk by 10 seconds because I want to get, like, a third felt leave under my Berserk, but that's, that's another thing that you should not do. Like, you should just take... Just use it when it's up, you know? Like, if you try too much to, to have good DPS, it, it doesn't work in there. Like, it, it's because it's so fast, like... It, it, it ramps up so fast, like, let's say... Let, let's say you take three GCDs to kill a monster. I don't know, it's hard to give you an example, but like... Like, the time it takes you to think of something is rarely better than the time you save by not thinking and just doing it, you know? Very, very rarely is it worth it to stop and be like, okay, let me think about this and then I'll do it. Usually it's just better to, to think fast and, you know, being unoptimal. Unoptimal, but fast. You see this a lot in um, when when you have new runners trying to die care for the first time, and they're like, you see you see that a lot, right? They, they're like, I don't understand. I I'm like I cannot do this set on a good time, even though I'm fighting nonstop. And then what happens is that they think they're fighting nonstop, but what what's actually going on is they they're stopping to do like to think every like every time they kill something, they're like. They're standing around for like, you know, like 10 to 20 seconds, just kind of moving, you know, like kind of a, like trying to think of what they want to do next. And then they pull after that. But what it feels like when you're starting out and doing that is it feels like you're pulling nonstop, but you're not pulling nonstop. Like you're, you're doing the opposite. You're, you're wasting time thinking between the monsters, which maybe by thinking you're pulling a more optimal monster, but then you're like, if you take 10 seconds to think every monster you pull, and then the floor takes you 10 kills. Well, no, let's let's make the example easier. Let's say the floor takes you uh, 6 kills. You, you just wasted a minute, you know? In fact, if you... If you take 10 seconds to think of what you want to pull every fight, and then you pull 6 monsters, that's six, uh, 60 seconds wasted. If you are like brain brainless and you just pull whatever's in front of you and you end up killing one extra monster, 
you probably save time over the guy who, who like, is taking time to choose his targets. Just, just because going fast is, is OP. Yeah, I think tank first is great. Be because also another thing about ta tank first is it lets you uh, focus almost entirely on using your commanders. Which is the only skill. It's the only skill you can't practice outside of there. Like you, you can get good at fighting monsters. You can get good at, you know, like just playing your job well outside of the deep dungeons. But you, you cannot get good at using commanders well outside of there. Like you need to do runs for that. Tank is really good for that. Because tank, tank you just don't clear. If you, use your, if you don't use your commanders well, you just don't clear. Like you, can, you can't get lucky. You, you can't get lucky on, on Machinist, let's say. Like you could, you could probably probably do a Machinist run where you just like use the free stuff you find in chest the entire time and then you can probably make it on time. But if you're playing a tank, that's not possible. You're never going to be able to do that. Ah, uh, the damn wall traps, dude. But yeah, personally, I'm a big, big advocate of trying to play tank first. If you have, if you have like no preferred, preferred job, and you're like, okay, I want to do the dungeon, I'm like, okay, I think you should try tank first. Especially if they're like. If they're like someone who enjoy Deep Dungeon, they want to do more after, then I think Tank First is a better play. Yeah, you gotta be a little aggressive. That, that's, the, that's the beauty. When you're playing Tank, you can almost only use your bombs for time. It's rare that you're in front of a monster and you're like, okay, I need like this bomb to kill this monster. Hey, what's up, Kupo? Yes? Luck, uh, luck has been really good, so if I keep getting good luck, we're gonna get a safe score. We actually speedrun the last set as well. I'm probably gonna try to speedrun the next one. Oh, you're grinding out the the experts. That's great, man. I love the experts. Actually, at the beginning uh, at the beginning of this stream, I was doing experts. I bought I bought the mats for fourteen uh, resins. I managed, I think I managed to complete 12. I only failed twice. That was like, wow. That was so good. And I sold, I'm selling all of them for 2.5 million. So I, I basically, this is like 50 million. Uh, wait, no, I'm, my math is wrong. That's 12 times 2.10. Uh, that's 30 million, 30 million. Yeah, you don't do the resin, and you know what? <laughs> no, no one does the resin, which is why I'm making so much money because I, I'm almost always the only one selling on my server, or when I'm selling, I, I, I can't afford to sell much cheaper than the other uh, competitors because I, I think they, they fail more craft than I do. So I'm, I've been making, I, well, right now I've, I'm at 510 million. Uh, I made 140 million since I started crafting uh, the experts. Uh, on my uh, on my data center, it's around, it's around 450k per resin. And if you complete the craft, you can sell it for 2.5. So as long as you complete one craft in five, you're fine. And uh, I personally, my success rate on the experts is about 50%. So I, I made like, I make ridiculous money on the resins. And the resins, they have no competition, like because people, exactly like you said, they're scared of doing resins because they cost so much to uh, to do. So, like I, I make so much money, man. Well, if you do, if you have fifty percent, then uh, you should do the resins, right? 
It's because it's probably the same thing on your data center as me. Alright, let's go now. The issue I found with the other mats. The successor of the crab is written on the rapid synthesis. True. Be true. Hey, I had a, I had a funny craft earlier. I had a craft. Dude, I have so many fun. Oh my god. I had a craft earlier where I, because I do muscle memory opener. My four first rapids fail, including the, the muscle memory one. And somehow the craft succeeded because right after that, I, I think I did a, I did something funky. I did like a, a manipulation into a prime veneration. And then I got a prime waste knot. And then I spammed like rapid and I got all of them and somehow that craft succeeded. Even though I failed four rapids at the beginning. That was kind of wild. But I, I think I needed the good on the on the bearer gut blessing to succeed this one. Safety. Okay, I'm gonna fortune this because we have too many commanders. I, I had a friend who was trying to do the experts as well, but he, he did not do edge guard, right? So he didn't really know the meta and he was trying he was trying to build the pro oh, sorry my mic move again. Uh he was trying to build the progress by doing like ground work and stuff like that. I was like, no bro. I, that's not how you should that that's never gonna work. Because you could never complete a crap, right? Delineation. Do you mean the, the crafter oh the, the the crafter papers? Yeah yeah, you need them. 100%. I use a, I use four every craft basically. You didn't craft experts in Ishgar? Oh, that's good then. You I mean you started from behind uh, everyone else. It was fresh brought to you. So actually something interesting. I I've done all the Ishgar seasons. Uh, all three of them, and I got the uh, rank one in the one of them also. Uh, the crafts right now, the other crafts, are harder than the Ishgard experts because we don't have a pliant proc. Pliant proc was a proc that when we, when you got pliant, it would make it so your next action cost 50% CP. So you, so you can tell like why that was good. So that means every time you got a pliant, you would like manipulation or master's man. But now we don't have, we don't have pliant anymore, so they, they are harder than before. Yeah, Waste Knot is bad. Never use Waste Knot, but uh, you probably realize that by now. Um, preparatory Touch is good. If you're at like 10... Uh, if you are at 10 stacks on your Inner Quiet, uh, you have like 30, 31 to 41 uh, durability. And you have an Innovation running. If you, have a, if you get a Sturdy, very good prep there. It's gonna give you a lot of value. Oh, I never use Waste Knot. Waste Knot is like a desperation move for me. It, it's just... It's really hard to utilize that proc. B because what happens is, first, if you have Waste Knot, you already have Manipulation and uh, Innovation running, because you used Primed on, the, on these before. Then you get another Prime, so you use Waste Knot. And now that, that locks you into doing five quality actions, and then at the end, something that's not quality but like it's it's just plenty because then it means the very last action you take on the waste knot is cannot be like faulty action but like you're building up stacks so it would be the best time to use one and then it's it means like it, it makes it hard to react to proc so i and personally i never use waste knot unless this is like this is person personally i i have no faith in st st touch spam I mean, uh, if you're uh, <laughs> maybe uh, if you if you want to see how I do my expert craft, 
the, like I said, I streamed, uh, uh, like my, at the beginning of my stream, I did experts for like an hour. So you can, uh, you can very easily just check my VOD and uh, if you're curious, like how I do my craft. But if you, if you already have 50% success rate, then you probably don't need to, like, because we're pretty close. Uh, maybe more like 60, I guess, but it's, but it's still, like, still pretty close. Man, I am paying zero attention this set. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, uh... Oh, good song. I'm just moving through the motions. Dude, that can run past such a good sound effect. Dude, experts are I I I could like so for uh for context, I used to be crafting used to be like deep dungeons to me in the sense that all I did all day was crafting. Uh, I started crafting in the um, in the middle of Stormblood. In the middle of Stormblood, I, I, I got my crafters up uh, through uh, blood and sweat because I was poor, so I could not even afford gear. But I finally did it, and then I, I, I just started crafting nonstop. And it was fun. I, the macro, like once you get to max level, you use macros more than you actually craft. Normally, it was still okay, especially since you made a lot of money because not a lot of people were willing to suffer through the crafting leveling process. Then they release each card. Everyone got crafters. And then like it was just like it, it was not worth it to make money anymore because too many people were crafters. So then at this point I stopped stopped caring about crafting. Then they released the Ishgard experts. And I was like, as soon as I saw that and I, I participated in the first season, I was like. I was like, I am never <laughs> I am never enjoying crafting again unless it's an expert. Like Expert crafting is actually perfect. Like it's it's all I want from crafting. Like if tomorrow they said, okay, every single craft is now an expert, I would I would be like perfect. Like this is exactly what I want. And I, I am I am so glad because we've we've had experts before, but we've never had an expert that you could sell on the market board. And this is so. This is the first time we have an expert craft that can be sold, and that's very interesting because it means that, that there's that's finally like something you can do as a crafter, where your skill matters, right? It's not just hitting a macro. It's like okay, if you're skilled, you can actually like do good money there. You know, it's like it's skill based instead of uh, instead of just like pentel melting your gear and uh, hitting a macro and then doing doing it uh, ten thousand times. And I, it's like it's so good, man. Like I. I really hope that was a test. Like, you know, they, they tested putting experts on the market board and that now they're gonna do it more. I, I I want more craft. Like I want them to release a new glamour. And for example, that glamour needs to be an expert craft. You know, and then it's like, okay, well that that glamour is now very expensive. And it's like if you want that glamour, you either have to buy it at its price or you have to try and craft it. But like you have to be careful because if you try to craft it. You have to be confident in your skills as a crafter to be actually able to do it, you know. And like, it's just so good. I, I, I'm. I think that Angelus was streaming yesterday. I'm pretty sure if Angelus talked about crafting at all, he had the same opinion as me because uh, Angelus is the same as me for crafting. Yeah, Ornic Battle Gear and Expert Craft would be so good. Dude. I, I, I don't remember where I read that, but I read that somewhere as well. That would be so freaking good. Just more experts, dude. Like, it's good to finally feel like a crafter. It feels good. So we're kind of beyond on time. But I've been getting pretty big force. Oh, you made that thread? Okay, that explains why. I, I could not remember if I saw it on Reddit or something. That was a great... That's a great idea, man. Dude, I made a thread for experts as well. On... Um, Man, I've not updated my stream title a single time. Let me do that. Okay, what was I saying? Yes, I made a thread on the the, the discussion subreddit also, and was like, because I, I I was I wanted to praise the experts, and I was like, I think that's a really good thing, dude. There's a uh, lots of people agreed, but there were some comments that were like disagreeing because of just you can bot the craft or like something like that. 
I didn't reply with like like what, what kind of argument is that that we should not do something fun because it can be botted you know? like, it's weird you know and, I mean if you really want to do the botting argument like you can't really be looking at crafting right now and being like oh this is harder to bot than experts so yeah anything can be botted so that's kind of like you know, insight like because it can be botted we should not do it I don't know it's kind of weird Wait, really? There's a bot to do ultimate? Damn, we should delete ultimate then. Is there is there a bot that gets you necro though? I don't think there's a bot that gets you necro. Because I do see people selling necros for like 700 bucks? It's super expensive. If you if you want if you want to buy necro, I cannot recommend. Unless you want to be to be partying with like 700 bucks. Dude, I am incredibly behind on time. I'm gonna have to start doing weapons and uh, rip my potions. Especially if I want to speedrun the next set. Uh... Deleted this channel, uh, what a shame. That would have been a fun video to watch. Honestly, I, I don't like. I don't even care that much people bought. Like, it's never really affected me. I, I guess it would suck in the sense, like, let's say for Itsburg, because it would lower the prices, but it's. I don't know. I, I feel like it never has a big enough impact where I, I feel personally affected. Oh, there, I know there's a bot for Deep Dungeons, though, because my friend. Uh, which I will keep his, his name a secret for, for his sake, but he, my friend, uh, I have a friend who bought something in the dungeon. Do you know what he bought? There's apparently a bot get potions in there, like the butchers. I, I don't I don't know how it works. I think it's, it's if I had to guess, it's probably like in Evan on High. That he probably has some kind of bot that spams 21 to 30 with brute or a solo, I don't know. So he gets like a butchered every time. I'm like, damn. Bots uh, really... Bots really do everything now. Well, it's, it's like... It's like, it's not something I would ever care to do, like... I would not care to bot, personally. Personally, if I bot... If I bot it, I would feel like just undermine my achievement. Even, even if no one knows, it's just... Like, personally, I would not do it. Even when I got my house, I, I got my house back when it used to be uh, very unfun. You know, you, you would stand in front of a placard and... Uh, I'm like... I know this was a very heavily butted thing, but I, when I got it, I did not bot it. I What I did when I got it is I just watched... Uh, I was watching speedrun videos the entire time. And Wait, do I kill you in time? I don't think I do. Yeah, no way I kill in time. In fact, when I got my house, my first house, I was watching a, a Major or Mass speedrun at GDQ, and it was he uh, was at the Deku Palace. I remember like vividly because when I got my house, I was like, "I'm finally free." It took me an entire week, man. It took me an entire week of like after work, standing in front of a placard, spamming my numpad. Probably, probably above 50 hours of just spamming. Wait, time is still really bad, so let's hurry up. On this bus, I don't even know how much time I need. Probably four minutes, if I had to guess. Also, I need to use these commanders if I want to speedrun. So we also need to use the alterations. We have too much stuff to use. Actually, gonna slide this. Still very good. Your friend bots Highland Sanctuary. I mean, that's I'm not surprised. This is like 
This, this is very repetitive, repetitive content when you're gathering. I, I went pretty hard at the beginning on my island century, and then when I hit level 8, I was like, okay, I'm gonna calm down. Hey, what's up, Ben? Hey, I'm playing your, I'm playing your job, Ben. You're, you're my, my senpai now. I've not played Red Mage in like a year, man. Am I gonna be able to cast something? Maybe? One day? There? Wait, this hurts more than I thought. So let me quick chain. I still have the I still have a little bit of the tank brain inside of me, I think. Um also I should fortune. It's fortune there. Oh my strain run out, that's why. That's why I'm doing no damage there. Oh, you don't have melted tool. Okay, that makes more sense in this case. That that makes the most sense. Because if, in my opinion, if you're able to grab the risen, then you should grab it because it's the most profitable. Trying to learn, so I should stay the senpai. All right, then I'll be the senpai. <laughs> I mean, don't. My score at 100 was very good. I got the pretty pretty good run. It was 100, 500. Uh, Sorry, I, I struggled so much to say that number. It was 1,515k. Oh yeah, I think I said that right. Learn trap. Wait, did I did I say 15? No, no. Uh, 1,500,000. 15k. I think. I think I said it right. Jesus, so many alterations. That is, that is so good, but also kind of bad. Because I'm going to have to use these alterations on the next set if I speedrun. Uh, unless I give up the speedrun on the next set, but I, yeah, honestly, I don't really want to give up this. Pretty, uh, pretty low kill count actually. And it's not even gonna be 150. That's really low for this set. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised my time is so bad. I think uh, I think I, I got stunned a lot talking about expert craft in the middle of the set, and I just like was wasting time. I actually it's actually a blur in my head. What happened? No, if you uh, there's definitely something you don't want to read there, and it's that stone gaze. Unless you enjoy losing your run. I mean, I've never done an it by it, but I, I just assume it petrifies you, and then you die. I, I, I feel like I'm pressured for time, but I, I don't think I'm that pressured for time, actually. Okay, that was up to all. I, I, I intentionally went in front of him so he would wake me up from the team. Come on, that was, that was kind of sick. All right. Okay, we we have to alter like the next two floors, and then we are gonna have to deal with alters on the speedrun set, which. I have around 11, no, 12 minutes. Oh, I have a rage. Uh, I'm actually gonna remove this book because time, 
Time is a little sus, so you know I'm willing to lose 500 points there. This looks like a massive floor. Ah oh, man, this means I need to rage now. Well, <laughs> just rage then. That sucks because I'm in a really bad spot to rage, but and I I choose the worst possible place to rage also because there's only two rooms of war of monsters. That's fine. We should have time to kill everything uh, with this rage, anyway. even if it's not a, even if it's not an optimal rage. I'm actually gonna backtrack. I can't gonna be able to kill more monsters this way. Skip team. Yeah, I'll go this way. Yes, I am able to kill more monsters this way. Correct crawl. Uh, I, I was watching your stream, I think, uh, Ben, on this particular run you're talking about. I think I was watching it. And I, I think what ended up... Sorry. <laughs> what I, I think what ended up happening is that you missed... You, were, you had to skip some kills. Because you were taking it too slow at the beginning of the set. Does that sound correct? I think that's what happened. That at least that's a feeling I got when I was watching your VOD. Well, not your VOD, but uh, you like. Oh, I think I think you should do the resin Koopo. Uh, if you if you can uh, if you have the tools already, if you have to mail the tools, maybe not. But if you already have the tools, then yeah. But personally, what I like to do is I like to sell two of each at least. And then I sell a little more of the resin because the resin just tends to sell better. Also, the the um, uh, the, the ninety-one to one, the, the one hundred boss. Then I was like, I, I didn't know really how much time it would take. I, when I, and when I did it on Red Mate, it was very fast. It was like. I think it was like three minutes with the boss. It was insanely fast. I, I went to the boss thinking I would need four minutes with one loss, uh, with two loss, sorry. And, and it ended up taking, I think exactly like two minutes, 50 seconds or something like that. It was quite insane how fast this job does the boss. Also, if, you are, if you're curious, I, I did speedrun uh, on 111 to 120. And in my opinion, I, I played the speedrun well, so if that's something you want to tr maybe try one day, then it would not be a bad bot to watch. No, die, die, die. Uh, if I had my flesh, he was dead. Oh, you double click manipulation? Well, I hope you find uh, four good rocks to make up for it. That song is a banger. Okay, I kind of have to live with these parts, and that sucks, but... Uh... Maybe a one uh, one respawn to wish me goodbye. Yes, nice. Like I said, this this said that it was kind of ass. Like pretty low kill count. And got a lot of stuff back though. And I got I actually got so much stuff back that now I don't know. The next set is gonna be tricky because I'm gonna have to loot a lot of chests. Oh, another drop. Yeah, I started at 61. I was like, uh, I don't know, I was bored and I was like, uh, I, I, I want to stream. So let me just stream uh, this.
You know, it's easy to... It's e when you don't have partner on Twitch, it's easy to, like... It I, I don't want to grind partner, right? Because partner, like as I was talking about earlier, the, the requirement for partner, the big one, is 75 average viewer. So like technically the, if I want to if I wanted to grind partner, like the most optimal way for me to do it, it would be to only stream the high, the very high floors every time. To make sure I have the most viewers, but it's like I really don't want to do that. I, I just want to stream when I want to stream and that's it. But it's like yeah. So that's why this morning I woke up and I was like, ah, you know, I, I want to stream. I don't have any high floor set up, I, will, I, I just want to stream. Let me stream this red mage. And actually, I, I stream expert craft before that. So. Bro, I keep getting stun luck on these floors because like every time I'm about to leave, there's a respawn light in front of me. Okay, there's no more now. I'm actually gonna have fun this. Hey, who knows? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Partner is like... In my head, partner is like, I'll get it if I get it. And if I don't. Because I, I'm in a lucky place. Because uh, I usually the times I stream at, I get... Uh, I forgot what you call it. But you know, like people, they can select the quality on my bot. So it kind of works out. Because, because I don't stream in the rush hour, basically. So close to killing it, man. I could have probably killed him before the pots. Yeah, I'm actually gonna force. I'm gonna use every every ch commander that regenerates chess. I want to use there. Okay, I do have a strength for the boss. You know, it'd be, it'd be kind of safe to have partner. It'd also be kind of safe to uh, do deep dungeons when I want to do them. Because so. I was I was watching other streamers in the deep dungeon community trying to get partner. Man, it seemed like miserable. Like, they, it was also the, always the same thing that came up. They were like, oh, I really want to do this on stream, but I can't because I know I will get less viewers. I don't know. Sounds miserable. I just want to play it for fun. Uh, oh, thank you. Hello, Paul. Good morning to you. It's afternoon where I, where I am, but good morning to you. Oh, yeah, we might have to do something with a witch chain on this floor to make it out in time. I do have a lust. Okay, let's refresh this. Mm, I don't like that, but I think I like this. Because I need to know if I rage or... I think I witching lost this. Okay, I have a free witching, I have a free... So this needs steal. Yes, this is a witching lost. I picked up so many fortunes, damn. Two witch chains. Okay, this this is free. This four is free. Oh, I already safety. Man, I wasted my sight. That was stupid. I forgot I safety this already. Oh rip. Wasted sight. Feels bad. Let's reset the run. Dude, <laughs> sometimes I have like I have an amazing run. And I, I like I do one thing dumb and I waste like one fortune. And I I I, I almost want to leave the run. Like it. Whenever I waste like a, a, a small commander, it frustrates me so much. I don't know why. Like right there, I wasted a, a freaking like one side, and I'm like, it feels bad. Oh yeah, I have three witching stamp.
All right, let's see what I get. Man, Red Mage Lost is so freaking good when you're doing any pulls. Like, you can kite. You can prevent so much damage from kiting like that. It's insane. Alright, what I got? Is there anything? Anything? I see something there. Steel. Alright, we'll just go kill whatever respawn is there. Uh, I don't think I need to purity, which is good. I'm probably gonna lose the boss, in fact. For one, for one thirty, I need like, I think if I lost, I probably need three minutes. Uh, but now I have, I have a pot, so it kind of makes it hard to to see how much I need. But it, I should be fine as long as I make it with like four minutes left. I should be fine with a lost. Perfect response there. Oh, two responses. Pretty sure this, that's a witch chain. Yes. Please die. Oh, I'm used to it. <laughs> It, it doesn't uh, it doesn't stress me really i'm used to treading the needle and if you if you've watched any of my 199 clears if you watch any of my clears on scroll runs where i'm on floor 199 uh, like my astro run and i'm like like we can leave the keys in front of me and i'm like okay but before i leave let me let me backtrack the entire floor with like two minutes left so i can like get this one reveal you know it's it doesn't stress me too much Bro, when I did that, when I did this on the uh, on Astro, I, I got I got like three DMs like telling me that I was stressing them out. It was funny as hell. And I guess it's like I, I'm very confident in my my own abilities. So whenever I'm in a situation where all I need to rely on is my steel, like there's no luck involved and it's just my steel, and usually I'm I'm uh, confident. I guess you could call it like kind of cocky. As soon as like there's no more RNG involved, I, I become very like confident. like all pressure goes away. You, you see that a lot in Evan and I. If you if you see me do Evan and I runs, whenever I'm at the floor that and now I know like 100% that RNG cannot screw me over, then I. Like, it becomes a victory lap. I, I lose all my pressure. Because in my in my head, it's like, okay, all, all that's left to do is not 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 mess up, right? That, that's the only thing I need to do. So that it's kind of a, like, for example, right there, I know that all I need to do is not mess up. I just need to do good DPS, so. That's why I'm not worried about going to the boss with a little time. Talking of messing up, messed up a little bit there. Oh, yeah, there. I was a little squeezed there. Oh, really? I didn't know. That's interesting. I didn't know there was a difference between like cockiness and confidence. It always sounded like the same to me. I guess I guess cockiness is kind of meant by an insult. Okay, well then, uh, <laughs> never mind that word then. It's like it's why it's so funny because sometimes I'm gonna be watching someone like Aurora. Aurora is kind of the opposite. It's like it, it doesn't like it doesn't annoy me, but sometimes it it's like it almost annoys me like, because I. I see his palms. I know he's a good player, and I like. I I know he's. I know that there is guaranteed, but he's still saying like, oh, like we. There's a chance we feel like this is not guaranteed. I'm like, I'm like, bro, like you, like you're good enough. Where like you're not gonna fail. You know? like,
I like the... Well, what is the opposite of, of like, confidence? It's like... Uh... Under confidence? Is that what you would call it? I don't even know. Self-doubt? Huh? Yeah, I think that's how you would say it. Alright. Uh, yes, we don't need flights. Okay, so we're speedrunning next set. We have pretty good bombs for it. Alright. Lacking faith in yourself. Oh, I thought I thought there was like a good, uh, you know, like good uh, one uh, one word word for it, like confidence. Well, 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 let's see. Let's Google. What is the what is the opposite of confidence? Distrust. Ske how how the hell do you pronounce that? Skepticism. Skepticism. Doubt. Un uncertainty. Uncertainty. Anyway. Alright, music is good, but I now I need the need the in-game music to make sure I focus. Diffident, my god man. These are these words are getting too complicated for my, my French brain. It's just like maybe maybe this is an unpopular opinion i just think it's better i think it's better to be overconfident than it is to be like underconfident like it's i feel like it's a better mindset to have well i don't know maybe that's just me Alright, so we're gonna try to speedrun this set. It should be easier than the one I speedrun earlier, so... Uh, still spicy though. Still, uh, it's always spicy to speedrun these things. Oh! Uh, who's that? Oh, Paul, thank you very much for the sub. Seven months, dude. Damn. Seven months, man. We've been streaming for a, a while. Thank you very much, Paul. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, best thing is to have faith. I think you put it best, right? Like, it's... it's like, like m measure, like, the outcomes, right? I think it's better to, like, have faith and fail sometime than it is to, like, not have faith. Not have faith, like, ever and just, like, succeed sometimes. I don't know. Anyway, let's play the game. I'm not a... I'm not a therapist. I'm a... I'm a gamer. Uh, let's eat cookie. And let's go. Okay, so we have to move fast there. Okay, we're gonna strength steal. By the way, sorry, I, I, can, I cannot read the chat much when I'm doing speedruns. Okay, I saw the key. You know what? I'm even gonna raise aim. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. I decided to raise aim. But like I found the raising at the same time, so it looked like I predicted the pump. Okay. This should be easier than the one I did earlier. I'm not too worried. And especially since my pumps are better than earlier, so. Okay, these soul guys are very easy by the way. That's why I'm pulling them. Okay, please no trap, please no trap, please, 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 please. Safety is really good. So the, these monsters do nothing. Like they, they cast so much that they end up doing nothing. So this is this is one of the few monsters you can actually AWE pull like pretty comfortably, even on DPS drops. Do 
Dude, I'm doing so much damage. Every time Counter 6 is up, it's just like a new... Ah, shit. I see a respawn, man. It's an insta room I just came from. But, uh, whatever. Don't have time to go for it. Wait, this one is dangerous. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Rezo. I mean, that, that might have sound, seemed like a bad rezo. It was kind of a bad rezo, honestly. I kind of uh, kind of underestimated the amount of damage that would come out. But it's fine. My rezos were sitting at 3 anyway. So. Wait, let's, we should be able to kill this fairly easily. We have all our bursts up. Man, the key's not open. Look at how yellow it is. What the hell? Okay, honestly, uh, kind of wasted the rezo, which feels bad. But other than that, pretty good first. Considering the amount of monsters I had to kill, I think that was pretty pretty good. Like we're barely behind. Was 15, yes. Okay. That was that was what I was afraid of. Now I have to alter. If I get mimics, this is really gonna fuck up my uh my plan. Okay, I'm gonna raising this. Uh Sorry, safety this, gonna still refresh. I might witching this. This might be a witching. I'll see what I do. I think this is a witching. Uh, not this is not a very uh, safe witching, by the way. I would say there is a non-zero risk that I just go up. Oh my god, this is gonna be a big witching, man. Hmm. <laughs> this is not gonna be safe. Got to have mercy on my soul. Please don't kill me, please, please, please. please. Okay, we are alive. Now we obviously need to lose this. We might have to refresh the witching, because that is a freaking fat pull. Whew, okay. No drops, really? Okay. Best fortune in the world. 16 kills, no for no drop. Man, that that was the most perfect floor for a, a witching loss. Like every room led up to the last room, which was a key, and then you know we get out instantly. Could not have went any better. Very lucky uh, key spawn there. But it, please God have be guardians. Please God be guardians. If I have mimics, then I'm in a very like awkward spot. I fucking knew it. That's exactly why I pop a potion, by the way. 
Th this room has a very high risk of a wall trap, so I like popping a potion when before I enter this room, basically. Um, I got Trojans. Thank Lord. Thank the Lord. Um, I don't really want to fortune. I think. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I totally for I was playing as if I had removed the traps. Because in my head, I, w I was like trap 3 because of the one I stepped on. Um, I think I'm fine. But barely. This needs a swift cast. Okay. Alright. Last floor was, sm was smooth. This one was not at all. This one was uh, anti-smooth. Thanks for the follow, Narabedia. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was frog time. Dude, these pools are pretty rough. They they feel rougher than I was expecting. That was, that's kind of funny. It's funny because earlier it was the opposite. When I was speedrunning 111, I was I thought the pools were easier than what I was expecting. Now they're harder. But we're still in a good time, honestly. Considering all we use is like witching. Well, and strength. Oh, we're talking of strength, my strength dropped. Well, it just dropped, so. Big floor. Bro, I... In, in my brain, the traps are gone. Like, this floor is a, a lost cause. I, I've hit so many traps that it's like... The traps are gone in my brain. Oh man, I really don't want to witching this, but I might have to. No, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Okay. Kind of close. So, what was that? There was a steel that I need to pick up. Hey, that's fine. Welcome. Yeah, I do stream. Uh... I do stream and then basically like my VODs come from my stream. Like the stuff on my YouTube comes from my stream. Most of it. Okay, we're out. That was an awful floor. <laughs> Definitely not smooth, like the last one. But we're still in a good time. Because remember, the boss of this set only takes a minute, so... We can afford to be a little behind there. He'll refresh, sure. Is that a treasure room? Uh, it is a treasure room on the key. So technically, the correct call there is to bring monsters to the queue and then do some kind of AoE move or I don't know. I think I safety this. Witch chain. I could maybe attempt a witch chain lust. That's risky though. I think I have to single target a little bit and then witch chain lust the rest. I think that's the correct call there. Okay, also, I should fortune. Let's do it. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna kill the most earthful monsters. Then I will do the witching lust uh, at the very end of the. I probably want to kill this guy. Oh, 
Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't need to. Is that the last room? Okay, no, I don't need to kill him. I can just try to go now. Uh, purity, good. Hmm, I don't know. That's, uh... Oh my god, there's a lot of trolls. Hmm. Maybe I should rage this instead. No, I think I should lust. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with my plan still, but it's gonna be kind of, a uh, Dangerous. Okay, lost now. Ah. It worked out, it worked out. Affluence. At what floor do score runners start to respect their content? Uh, depends how, on how much you want to push. Uh, usually starting from like 151 is when you... No, I would say starting from 141 is when you start respecting their content more. Until then, we're kind of going wild. Okay, nice. Spending a witch chain is like huge there because the witch chain is the only way for me to do like massive pulls that is not a rage. We are a little too behind now, but it's fine because we're planning to rage anyway. So. Nice respawn. I mean, not gonna lie, Verkir is kind of nice on these AoE pulls. I, it's this, this is definitely kind of a red mage privilege thing. If I was playing like another melee, another like, no, not a melee, melee is not a good example. If I was playing a, I don't know, summoner, I could never do pulls like that. Okay, we are extremely behind now. Uh, does the amount of room discovered affect the score? It's no, it's it's like the act of revealing an entire floor gives you 2500. So it doesn't matter if the, that floor has 5 or 10 rooms. It's only like when you reveal the last one that you get the 2500 bonus. Okay, we still have to do 5 floors. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, yes, 5. Dax are terrible monster. We kill them. My mana is kind of screwed up. I'm actually gonna waste my magnification to fix this there. Oh! Bowie the arrow. Ah, I don't think you've ever raided me, Bowie. Thank you very much for raiding your crew over. Um, so if you guys don't know what I'm doing, I'm doing deep dungeons. We're, tr we're trying to speedrun this set for points, because I'm a score runner. It is, it is extremely hard. So forgive me if I cannot uh, look at the chat too often, but thank you very much for the raid. What were you doing, Bowie? Were you doing maybe the Savage Raids? Because I think you were grinding them. I saw you were, you were grinding them on stream a few days ago. Well, I mean, since they came out lately. Oh yeah, Xenoblade. I've never played Xenoblade, actually. I've never played any of them. I've never played much RPGs, actually. Surprisingly. Savage on Sunday. My my savage because uh, I I'm, I am raiding also this year. I I raid like basically during the week. So then I get a I get I can't be lazy on the weekend and do whatever. They need to kill this dog and then we need to start moving. Yeah, we almost cleared five. Also, we are we we basically at the end rage yesterday and uh, we're ready to clear now. Uh, there's a risk of a trap there. I can risk a trap. I can risk a trip. Okay. 
Okay, we need gain time. This might be... Mm, I don't really want Witch in this. Rage, perfect. Okay, we're using Rage. Even with this Rage... Time is really sus. Oh, thanks for the follow, Sophie. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I can't wait to kill it, because honestly, I've seen enough... Uh, I've seen enough Devours. <laughs> I'm ready to move on. Fuck, man, time is really bad. I, th I still think we're fine, but we're probably gonna have to rage, like, everything. Uh, we're gonna have to rage three times, I think. Not to mention, I do have to backtrack this floor, because I do need to go grab the rage I just used. Flight. Flight is an option also. If I'm really struggling for time, I could flight once. Okay, we don't tell you why I'm running. Alright. So we are 3... We're gonna be 3.30 behind. But the boss takes only 1 minute instead of 3. So like we're really we're like... A minute 30 behind. It's not the end of the war. We can gain that time back easily with rages. Uh, but now starting from 136, we're gonna start seeing like the very annoying monsters. Which is like basically the, the crack. And the dags that we already saw. Okay, well, let's see. Um, we still need... we. I'd, I'd love to keep the sights for the later floors. So I would guess this is going to be a safety instead. Okay, I'm going to safety. This looks like a small floor. Or maybe, maybe not a small floor, but it's... Uh, the, the key is good slide. It's going to be in a straight line or something like that. So. Man, these the hacks, they made it really hard to speedrun. Because they slow you so much. Intuition. Best case scenario is I safety uh, sorry, I witching this floor. It's gonna be hard though because the uh, big damage from the monsters. But I, I still think I should try to do it, so. Nice uh, knockback. Nice jump back, I mean. And the disease is definitely not helping. Okay, I'm not even mad if this is a small floor. It is a small floor. Let's witch in. We're killing them kind of slow, actually. I mean, I'm fine, but... Yeah, sometimes I... I should ignore monsters sometimes. When I'm trying to do, like, a hard speed run like that, I should ignore more monsters. I, I'm just kind of stubborn, and I'm like... Because in my head, I'm like, okay, I need to kill everything, and, and I will kill everything. So... It ends up being like... It ends up, ends up wasting, wasting a lot of my time. Because then I, I end up killing monsters that waste like too much time. Okay, we only need to do one more floor without uh, a sight. Preferably this one. I would, I would love to try and keep like a rage or two. That is a sight. That is a sight. Yeah, I, I had to, like, 
I had to figure out really fast what I was doing there, so no time to think. Because I did not want to... Well, I have three purities. I, I could have eaten the pots and gotten rid of it after, but fine. So let's try and kill as much stuff as we can. I saw Lurin in the spawn room, but it's. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to pop it. I think we're going to have to skip a couple of monsters. We were kind of lucky on the Arimans, though. We did not see that many Arimans. Because these guys are really bad in the weeples. Oh my god, all the spawns are far from me. Really. No, because of that, I'm gonna miss a GCD. Sorry. Dude, there's so many luring traps, but I just don't have time to deal with them. Well... As long as I don't pull the dock, maybe? Oh, dude, there's another one anyway, so let's just... Okay, this needs to be lost. I need like one minute on the bus for this set. Yeah, I remember are very easy to like lose track of. It's why if I'm doing a repose, I try to avoid them at all costs. Because they, they just like take too much time. Can't believe this is harder than the, the set earlier, man. Rage back. That's so huge. Rage is back. Steal. Yeah, I, I just I just don't have time to check the chest, honestly. I'm gonna check this one. Uh, I, I just don't have time, man. I cannot check these chests. I have to go now. Okay, we had to skip, like, a luring or two. I mean, you know, it's kind of the point where like, you're wondering if the speedrun was really worth it. I think it's still worth it, but it's kind of barely worth it. Yes, yes, that's why I'm trying to hurry up. If I do this in under 30 minutes, I will get a, a bonus. Two points. Okay, safety or sight? I'm gonna safety this one. Okay, Rage. I don't have time to think, so I'm just gonna use a Rage and uh, I just pray I find the key. Okay, this is a dead room, I believe. Dead end, sorry. No, it's not. Okay, we're gonna go this way. This is a dead end. Perfect, okay. So the... Per perfect. I, I did not want the exit to be there, so that is perfect. That's really good. So it looks like we're gonna be able to go into the next set with two rage, maybe one if I rage this floor again. And I kept my sight also. So strength. We have buffs running as well. I keep trying to sprint. But I'm like just because of the debuff. Okay, this is the rage. Um I might with Shane if there's more than one room. Okay, there's only one room. I pretty sure I have time to kill you guys. So let's just do it. Very good the uh, rage pickups. Because if I was going to the next set with zero rage, I would be a little worried. Well, not worried, but I would be a little sad for points, but now we're going to go into it with two rage. Alright, we need to go now, though. Okay, this floor should be free because we're going to sight, then uh, kill, like, whatever's around. 
Hey, what's up, Nero? How are you doing today? Wait, we're citing this. Should be a good easy layout. Okay, yes, I know how to do it. Yeah, correct. A speed run is worth around 50 kills. But um, you have to remember. Let me see if I have to witch in this. Yes, I will witch in this. But you have to remember that if I if I stay on this set 30 more minutes, I will see 20 more respawns. Just because of the way it is. So if I see 20 more respawns, it means on this on these sets specifically, uh, it's actually worth 30 kills. You know, you can see it like that. You're thinking about going getting to this game, man. This game is a well. First, it's a MMO, so if you know what an MMO is like, that's gonna help a lot. But like, it's a great game if you want to like. It, this is a great game if you want to just like be able to do any content and. Output it like this is a game that promotes side content. So, for example, I'm doing side content right now, and uh, I actually do this side content all day. But like this is this is how this game is built up. It's like there's a bunch of side content things, and you can just like go really deep into it. So it's a it's a good game to like just lose yourself into it and spend hours. You know. In fact, I I have a I have a over over 10k hours in this game. That's a lot. Okay, we don't have time to deal with this. I can check chest. If I have Mimic, I have to reach Mimic. We have to go now. I, I have over 10,000 hours in this game. You spend a lot of hours in Final Fantasy XIV. Alright, uh, we have to do this, right? Uh, should not, should not fail. I, I've never failed this bus before, so... Move now. Three. Move in two. Move in three. Move and kill. All right, perfect. Speed run done. Whew. Alright, let me catch up with the chat because I got raided in the middle of this set and this this just the, the speedrun just required like 95% of my brain power, so I was like I was struggling man for a little bit. Alright, let's see what I missed in the chat. So thank you again for the raid Bowie by the way. So yeah, I, I was kind of uh because I know if you're coming from Bowie then you you might not know what I'm doing exactly, but yeah, I'm doing deep dungeons, which is basically side content in Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, but it's like it's, it's side content that you can go like so deep into that we just like we're a bunch of people who just like grind this out all day every day. It's like a roguelike. It's basically a roguelike game where you go from floor one to floor two hundred in this uh, for this one, and then if you die at any point, you must restart at one. And then like during the journey, you have uh, you get items to help yourself. Like right? uh, they're called pomenders. It's a lot like a road light. If you've played Binding of Isaac, it would say it's a very similar Binding of Isaac, as, as silly as it is. It's kind of the same concept with rooms. And then, you know, like once you kill the boss, you, well, the, once you kill enemies, you go to the next, you know, next floor and you find items on the way to help you. Kind of like that. Um. Uh, yes, that suck. <laughs> like you said. Uh. You started Final Fantasy XIV after Angelus randomly popped in your recommendation. That's great, man. It's kind of great if you get into this game like by seeing a deep dungeon runner. I wonder what kind of like because this is like this is this this content is so different from doing like because this 
well first of all it's like it's technically team content but like we do it solo angelus does it solo but it, like if you got into this game by watching angelus it's kind of like you're getting into an mmo by watching a guy playing like the solo content in mmo it's kind of funny and yeah i i can't believe that you have 1k hours and you're not even done with this story so like for example let's i'll give you my exact uh play time uh because i have a, i have it on steam so oh my god i, I have a i have fourteen thousand hours in this game you know i would say more than 50 percent is spent inside deep dungeon yeah this this character total, uh, total playtime is 563 days that's a lot that's a few days yeah i just did the playtime Five five hundred sixty three days. All right, I'm trying to decide if I do one more set or if I stop now. Hmm. I think I'll do one more set. Yeah, I'll do one more set, and then tomorrow we'll do uh, the pretty floors all at once. Sounds good to me. So we want, what we want to do on this set, we want to try and kill everything. We, there's no hope we can speedrun this, but there's we are able to kill everything if we uh, move fast. So that's what I'm going to try to do. I would say my palms are actually like very good. Uh, coming from a speedrun, having two rage, three strength, really good. So we're going to be moving there. I fortune. I've already killed three. Now nah, I'll fortune next four. Nah, that almost looked like a silver chest at a glance. So this is a purity. We're gonna keep this in case of a mimic. I wonder if I. Uh, I wonder if I still have the first rank for all the jobs in, in uh, PUTD. Uh, there's like no competition for PUTD, so... Okay, we gotta respect this guy's damage. Oh, that's a respawn. That one's a respawn. But we, we don't want to heal too much because I... Ooh, hello. I think I'm gonna steal... I, I I could definitely survive these two monsters without steel, but I'm still I'm gonna steal because it's first is gonna make this pull easier, second is gonna make it so I waste less potion. So why not? Yeah, but I, I wonder if I still have the first friend for PUTD on the eater. I think so because there's just there's just no competition. In Evan on high, I think someone beat my score on on Gunbreaker and uh, Dark, no, not Dark Knight. It was Gunbreaker and Paladin. Someone beat my store for Paladin and, and uh, Gunbreaker, but I, I beat them back. And I think I'm only missing Dark Knight now. But the Dark Knight score I have to beat is kind of insane. So I'm not sure if I will go for that error. You'll come for my Astro score. Dude, if you if you beat my Astro score, you can keep it. Like I'm never I'm never doing Astro again. Unless it gets reward, Italy. It was so bad. Especially in Evan High. It was it was like the worst time.
poor, poor Angelus, man. He's like, he is stuck on Astro. It feels because I'm watching his stream sometimes. I'm like, I'm like, damn, I feel you so much there. I, it sucks being stuck on Astro because it's like, first, it's not very enjoyable unless you're like really like Astro, but it's, it's like such an enjoyable experience and it wastes your potion. And it's super hard. There's like never any rest when you're playing Astro. Well, Astro sucked in the new deep dungeon. I uh, yes. I mean, if you mean, well, assuming it's the same as it is, yes, it will suck. Like there's just there's just no amount of upside that make it like that makes it so your low damage is like just fight. But you will have a shield. I think. I think you have a shield on max level Astro. That's gonna be tremendous help for landmines. Which I assume we're gonna get landmines on the next dungeon. Okay, let me kill one respawn, because there's one. Come on. Alright, let's go. Fast first floor, but also very small. Oh yeah, we kind of want to spend these alterations now. We, we we were pretty lucky on the last set because we we went into it with two alterations. We found one, and when we used it, we got Corrigent. So uh, we found two. Sorry, we found two alterations, and we had to use one. But luckily, it was Corrigent. If it was Mimic, that it would have uh, basically cost me a rage. Uh, I might get rid of these debuffs. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this debuff. I, I can do the floor. I just don't really want to. Oh, dead trap first. Very nice. I think I killed you in time. Barely. Yeah, barely. Rage back. Nice. Oh well, I guess we're getting pucks now. I mean, if this, this one I open would not do a dead trap first because it's impossible, so I would get the pucks no matter what. I'm gonna remove this pucks as soon as they're dead, by the way. Well, as soon as the, the last one's dead. Man, I can't wait for the new deep dungeon. Like, now now that now that someone has mentioned the deep dungeon, now I'm left uh, I'm left thinking about it again. Can't wait. Uh, it's been so long too. I I'm so ready for it, man. I I have my own like I I actually I finished this content. Like, I, there's nothing. Well, there's technically nothing left for me to do there. But I'm still doing it all day. But I'm so ready for. It. Dude, can you? Can you imagine how good it's gonna feel to play jobs with their entire toolkit? Like, oh my god, <laughs> I, I've never experienced this. Because when I started doing Deep Dungeon, it was in uh, early Shadowbringer. So basically, when I started doing Deep Dungeons, uh, it was already content that was like lower level than your match level. So I, I never got to do Deep Dungeons with, with toolkit, like a toolkit of match level. It's gonna feel like 
like I have so many buttons, man. It's gonna be insane. Can't wait. This is a pretty this is a pretty damn high mimic count uh, save now that I look at it. Pretty damn like we have a hundred mimics right now. That's a lot. Kinda nice that I've got all my rages back already. That's gonna be great help. But with this, I, I think I'm gonna be able to full kill this set and probably get most of the kills of the next one as well. Okay, I don't have my steel anymore. Um okay, so so the first deep dungeon was released in Evans Ward. And I think so I'm unsure, right? But because I was not playing really back then, but I think what happened is they released like the first 50 floors and then they, they kept releasing like more floors to PTD in Evan's Ward. Then in Stormblood, we got the second deep dungeon, Evan uh, on High. Then in Shadowbringer, they, for some reason, I think they thought that people did not enjoy deep dungeon, so they did not release a deep dungeon for your Shadowbringer. But then apparently people complained. And now we're getting a deep dungeon in Endwalker because of that. So like it's, it's not really one deep dungeon per expansion. It's just it. I think it's just that it, it, it happened to be one on every expansion except uh, Shadowbringer. But if if people like a deep dungeon on this one, this expansion, then I would expect a, a new one. You know, after. I, I think, I think deep dungeon now is like the most popular it's ever been. So it, it should. Be well received like unless they mess up something really bad this should be well received content this is much more popular than when i started doing deep dungeons because when i started in early shadowbringer uh the, the, it was like not that popular uh, can we kill the boot before we get the paralyzed oh yeah for sure Yeah, there's a lot of people like so to to put it in perspective because you have to understand the most people's experience with deep dungeons is bad because all they use it for is it's uh, is leveling and when you use it for leveling that means you're spamming the you're spamming like one set with random people but like when you're doing that you're basically not playing the content because like you're not it's not like you're one-shotting every monster. You're not using palms. Like you're, you're never keeping your palms, right? It's like a new file every time. So like because most people experience with Dim Dungeons is that uh, they're surprised when they see someone doing like real Dim Dungeons. They're like, wow, this is this is totally like different from what I know, right? And so that's why I think that's why people they like they don't know much about it. I mean, myself, I was I used to be like that. When I when I started the uh, when I like started QTD for the first time it was for XP as a, everyone else. I would spam 51 to 60 with groups. Uh, I used to hate QTD. I used to think QTD was like the worst content in the game, but it, it was because like it was because I didn't really understand how it worked.
anything, you need to make a Nets per craft guide. I mean... I can actually redirect you to someone. That's really good. Uh, there's a there's a content creator called Ash... Uh, A-S-H-E-10. If you search for that on YouTube, you should find his uh, YouTube. This guy is a very good crafter. Very rich. I, I think he probably has like some kind of guide or something for Edsburg. So I can you can probably check this out. But uh, you are right. There is a lot to talk about with Edsburg. Like this is this is not uh, easy to do Edsburg. This is kind of content you could have a guide for. I don't know if I would make a guide, but. But because like there's so much to think about when you're doing experts, it's it's like it's like it, there's no it's a bit like the dungeons, right? Like you can't you can't say oh every time this happens do that. Like it's it's actually the same as deep dungeons. Like you can't be like okay every time you reach for 184 use uh, rage. That's not how it works. It's a, it's kind of the same for expert craft. You can't you can't say like oh every time a good proc happens use precise. It's it's a very like uh, kind of content you have to react rocks like react content I guess. Hmm. We're falling a little bit behind on the on the time now. It's fine. I, I would be down using a rage on this set, maybe even two. If I see a treasure room, I would probably do it. I can do something funky though, if I find, um, let's say I find a site, I can do something kind of funky with a land on Red Mage. Could be worth a try. Damn, this floor has a lot of monsters. There's still like two rooms left. That's a respawn. There's still an entire room. This is gonna be like a 25 kill floor. And of course I did not portion that. God damn it. Alright, give me strength. Cushion, close enough.
patrol. Hey, what's up, Parallax? How are you today? Nah, yeah, I've been streaming for six hours already. I thought I was I've been streaming like three hours, but apparently it's been six hours. God damn it. QTD just eats your time like crazy, man. I, I did do... Oh, I did a pretty big stretch. I did, I did 61 to 150. That's a pretty big stretch. And okay, yeah, we speed rent wise. That's why maybe my kind of perception of time is messed up. Uh, I'm not alter again. If I have mimics, I might rage. Feels good. Okay, well, I don't see it there. Let's check this room. Mimics? Only two, though. Um... Okay, for two mimics, I'm not gonna rage. I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna witching them, so I don't have to deal with bugs. So I did take a small risk there. I use my strength. So if I get to the boss and never find a strength again, they would be. Uh, I mean, I, we, we we won't climb out, right? It's just the boss is going to be kind of a, kind of annoying if I don't have a strength running. But it's not. It's not like we would climb out, of course. No, I will get paralyzed. Rip. Let's get rid of it. There. Yeah, I was gonna try this silver chest, but uh, let's just be safe. Nice crit. Probably gonna alter nice land, nice land mine. Probably gonna alter the next four again. Yeah, I, I would say no matter what, I will alter, so... Oh, I interrupted my combo, fuck, man. Okay, let, let me give you my number one complaint with Red Mage. I don't understand why... I don't... So, it made sense that mana nification interrupted your combo before. Because, like, it doubled your mana, so you could do just, like, weird stuff. But now that this gives you 50 mana flat, I don't understand why this interrupts your combo. Like, this... I don't see any reason why you could not do, like, you know, like, one hit and then use mana nification. It just seems kind of weird. They really should, like, just make this, you know, like... They should just give you 50 mana and that's it. Like, nothing else written on the skill. Yeah. 
<laughs> very nice phrasing. So now we, we cannot die to something stupid. Hooray. Alright, what was that chest? I don't remember. It was uh, steel. Okay, that's good. I have not looked at the time a single time. Is that even good? Let me see. 34, 145. Okay, we're like slightly behind. So honestly, it's not bad. We've gotten a lot of inclusions. Wait, looks like I did get Big Maui's. No, never mind. I'm I, I am blind. For some reason I thought I was Big Maui. Uh, no, I don't know why. Weight chains are nice. Mimics. Uh, the damn mimics. I will purity the bots, I believe. Unless if if both of them do death trap first, I maybe kill them and before they bots. No. I am getting punched. I'll remove it after I remove it after both of them are dead plus this chest uh, plus this chest is checked Okay, there we go. Strength's back. Shen, let's remove the parts now. I, I'm really glad I decided to do this set today because that means tomorrow when I finish this, I, I can start at the fun part right away, right? There's like no... Uh, we're not going to be stuck in the cavern for a single hour. That knight just respawned.
Oh my god, that's a massive floor again. Which is good. Just means it's gonna take me a little bit to make, uh, make it through. Okay, we're definitely using that right away. I uh, gotta remember I can also do a... I can do a pretty good pull if I use a Witching Lust. If I do a Witching Lust, I, I'm probably able to kill like... Uh, six monsters, I would say, with Steel Strength. Maybe even like eight. One more room, we're still slightly behind, but we still have not used the rage, so that's fine. Did not pick up a lot of butchers, unfortunately. Hey, that's fine, Paul. Thanks for sticking around a little bit. This is the last set anyway, so you're not gonna miss much. You have a good day of work. Steel, always nice. Alright, let's go. What is that? Four more floors and this bus will probably take... Mm. This, this bus is always hard to like figure out. I think on Red Mage, this is, this is below eight minutes for sure. This is probably like six minutes with strength loss, if I had to guess. So I need an excuse to use a damn fortune, so I'm just gonna use one now. Because I've been sitting on two for like the entire set. Oh my god, all the bro all the chests are bronze. Well I did I did just complain I had no butcher, so that's fair.
Hey, there's a gold there. Wow, that crit me as well. Good thing I had steel. Hey, butcher, nice. Um, are you watching you? Just so I don't deal with bots. Yeah, if you die, if if I would lose the run like there, I, you still keep your pot shirt. Because basically your pot shirts, like as soon as you pick them up. Oh nice rage. Um like as soon as you pick up the pot shirt, it's in your inventory, it's yours. So Yep, you keep them. And I wish I found that rage earlier. But I kinda actually no, that's not the right way to think about it. I wish I used a rage earlier. So that then I would have been at two rage and would have found this pickup. That's kind of my bad. I, I've been sitting at three rage and like because I keep getting floors where there's no treasure room and I feel bad about uh, rage in the floor. Alright, three more floors and we have about 15 minutes to do it. Sounds doable. Maybe I don't even need to rage. Depends how big the floors are and if I get debuffs, like a blind. Blind definitely doesn't help. Kinda, I kind of want to remove the blind or rage this, actually. I think I rage this. This is such a small floor, though. Could I maybe do something with Lust or Witch Chain or Rezo, even? There's a Lurine there. Why do I just YOLO rage this? If I see two Lurines, I will rage. Let's put it that way. No, I should not rage this. We're gonna do what I said earlier. I'm gonna do this. This should work, I think. I think, now that I look at it, I could have pulled like way more monsters. I could have definitely pulled like 10. Easily. Yeah, yeah, this is milk. So I could have pulled probably the entire floor and done that.
I am losing the steel. Can I sleep anything there? Pretty sure I can, so I'm gonna steal. Come on, I missed on the, this guy and because of that, did not die. Pretty, uh, it's trying to be a pretty okay kill count. I think we did a good job. And I think we might have to rage once, but that's it. That depends if I get like a big floor, crazy. Let's see, no debuffs, that's good. That's also very good. It means if I get a Mimic, I don't need to deal with bugs. Yeah, well, I can tank this if I want. I do have steel. Response there. This looks like a very small floor, which makes me think we don't need to rage anything, which is fine. Which, which is perfect. That means, uh, that means next floor I'm gonna be able to. Next time I'm gonna be able to rage stuff. Well, probably. Which means I, it's, it's more likely I'll be able to full kill the next set as well. By the way, these dragons, these, these Onyx dragons are actually undead, if you are curious. That means if you have a Rezo, uh, you can actually kill these guys really fast. Which, it, it it happens sometimes, like you find a free resolution on, the, on like this set. Pretty useful for that. Good way to make use of this.
Wall trap. Woo. Man, are you ready for the new deep dungeon where assuming this they follow the same formula? We will we will have no clue where the traps are. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be something. Um, well, that's a good question. Do I use this now or do I wait next set? If I use it now and I get mimics, I will need to be it knowing what. What the hell is that chest that I... I don't remember what this is. Did I even check this? Oh yeah, yeah, purity, right. Um... I think I alter next one. Well, no, no, I'm, I won't alter. I will not alter. So I'll just keep my alter. Okay, this needs serenity or rage. Rage. This is a rage. Well, rip rage. But this is a uh, the, the by far the best move there is to rage because it's it lets me save fifteen hundred points on this debuff. So because if I did not rage, I'll add to get rid of. Oh wait, there's a. What am I doing? There's a luring there. It's like every time I, I I have every time there's a floor where I think I'm gonna rage, I find a mimic on the very first uh, chest, and then no, I have no time to think. And I just have to do it. Yeah, I kind of want to see if there's a luring before I comment too much. Okay, no luring. Should I have maybe kept this strain for the boss? But whatever. This is kind of a long way from the key. Uh, oh, Rezo might be useful. Like I said, you can kill dragons like uh, like this guy, would it? Purity. Well, now I wish altered, but you know, I there's no way to know I would get the purity. There's a luring there.
Okay, best case scenario is that Lauren gives me like three undeads. In which case, I could easily kill uh, a bunch of undeads. Man, that free res though is actually kind of clutch because I don't think I would have had time to kill everything without it. Nice respawn. I gotta risk it, come on. Like, as if I stayed in that rezo, I was 100% dead. <laughs> so, don't worry, I had to get out of this. I'm unsure if I have to refresh my strength for the bus, so we'll see. I, I, I feel like I might kill it like way faster than I'm expecting. It, 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 it tends to be like that for this bus, so... Also, if this is a mimic, this is extremely annoying. Oh, well, okay, we don't have to worry about it, because we have a free strength, so let's go. I think yeah, I think I would have time to kill the, the extra succubus there, but let's just go. 152 kills is very good for a DPS job there. Only trust me one rage. Alright. So I will lose when the ad comes. Dude, the dual cast loss is gonna make this so much easier than the other jobs. Way easier. Nice dodge. My god, that hurts. Even with steel, that hurts.
Yeah, she's almost dead, man. My god. I might actually kill her now, actually. Um, yeah, it's close. I don't think I kill her there, but it's very close. Oh, uh, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> oh, I think I do, actually. I think I do. Yeah, if I burst, she just should die. Yeah, I, as I said, this boss is always like... I, I still have three minutes left. Like, every time I go into this boss, I it takes me way less time than I was expecting. I think it's because I did it, I did it on Astro and, like, it's so bad on Astro that you just kind of get used to this fight being very long. Okay, we're not going to burn 